Fuck. All right. I have no pomp and fanfare for this, so let's just let's just dive on in. The grand turnabout. The final case of Ace Attorney investigations. It's gonna it's gonna flicker again real quick. I guess I don't want it to flicker during this part in case I need to edit it later. It was important stuff. Oh my god. Am I gonna be able to do this? <laughs> I still think that looks like a homestuck troll. <laughs> it does. <laughs> looks like Terezi. Do that. Oh, let me delete this. Why? 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 You know, Ace Attorney. Kaiju. Pokemon Game Boy soundbite. Here. At here. Not oh, good. At here. You know, oh. when, when we finished the last case, I was really hoping, like, you know, if one character okay. sticks around, I hope it's Lada. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, and she talks first. Oh, right. boy. All right. So what are y'all gonna do now? I reckon you're through being a prosecutor, right? Yes, that's right, I quit. That's true, I suppose. Good for you! I'm no longer a prosecutor, however. <laughs> you can't stop thinking about what's... We're starting out good, folks. You can't stop thinking about what Mr. DeKiller said. Indeed. I believe this was Aram, but uh, I think it... I don't know. Will, you want to be this guy? He is a gentlemanly oh, uh, assassin. A gentlemanly assassin? Oh, wait, was is it savage? This was me. Were you? Sorry, yeah, Aaron, Aaron played this guy yeah, yeah. at some point when I was playing one of the games, so... Fair enough. <clears throat> I congratulate you on resolving the case. However, can you truly say in good conscience that it has been solved? This case isn't over yet. <laughs> Extraterritorial rights. The person in the Red Hood who kidnapped Kay at Gord Lake, and this letter from an unknown oh, yeah. sender. Someone's. I forgot the fucking raincoat killer was the killer. He sure mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Someone's schemes are at work behind this case. Shit, son, you I right. Having a case. You, I just opened up another window. That's entirely my bad. Must be yeah. tough having a case you just solved still nagging at the back of your mind. Well, I got some investigating of my own to be doing, so I'll be off. Oh no, not you. That's amazing! You're going away! <laughs> <laughs> You've already decided on your next scoop? Oh shit. Oh. Does one oh. decide on a scoop? Ch That's Chocolate what I was just thinking. <laughs> Don't you go find you one? You gonna go commit a crime? <laughs> what are you saying there, Missy? Don't you be underestimating the lacks a lot of heart. I've covered a lot of scoops, you know. I always have an extra scoop or two up my scoopy sleeves. I'm a whole ice cream parlor. My friends <laughs> call me like Raisin Bran. Nut. <laughs> Nut. Nut. Someone help. Stop. No, Yikes. don't. What's that? Oh, it's Penny Nichols again. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You leave an impression? Marissa, Someone, you're a... Someone, please yeah, help. Yeah. All right. Hmm, this woman is... What's happened? S somebody's dead! A, a monster! A monster? It's a scoop! A scoop's calling me! Oh no. Scoop! Yeah. Scoop, oh. scoop! Please follow me, it's this way! Scoop! <laughs> what is oh my god, oh my god! That's her running in! Again? Oh, I missed <laughs> it, damn it. <laughs> I don't know. At any rate, we should follow her for now. <laughs> click a click a click a click a click click click. Got enough photos? No. She <laughs> opens up the back of the camera and shoves in a eh? scoop of ice cream. What do you want? Genuine hoof prints. Oh my god. Hoof it's prints? Lily pads. <laughs> Impossible. No animal Fuck could be one. this large. Mr. Edgeworth, look! <laughs> oh no! It's, it's the pre <laughs> it's the president! The lion man is dead! 
Oh, oh no, this again. All right. Uh, Agent Lynchpin, why is he here? Huh, someone's on the ground. It can't be. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, his yellow, yellow blood. The president of Zheng Fa, Dijun Huang. Eight. God damn it, this is so hard. <laughs> Agent Lucario! Uh, Will. Mr. Prosecutor. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Prosecutor, didn't take you long to get here. Uh, ignore the flashing, I gotta turn Will up. Oh, no. Okay, that's much better. <laughs> oh, what happened? Shit. What? What? Happened? <laughs> That's what I'd like to know. Me too. We are friends. It would seem that he's in a considerable <laughs> takes off like a helicopter. However, <laughs> his Mr. lips Mott spin. <laughs> what exactly are these giant hoof prints? And what could have happened to the president? They hired. <laughs> they hired Godzilla to assassinate the president. <laughs> Sorry, I sat down. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Mr. President, the clap of my ass cheeks was lethal. <laughs> uh, monster? Yes, sir. Hey, looky here. Ain't no doubt about it. These are clearly the footprints of a monster. On this day, mankind... I'm not reading that. <laughs> oh, no. Mighty Muzilla. Big ass cow, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Man trampled to death by a monster. I reckon it'll be the top story in tomorrow's paper. Imagine the amount of milk he could flood a street <laughs> with. Because I think the people would be more interested in the person that was killed by the giant monster rather than the giant monster itself. Can you imagine if tomorrow's headline was Donald Trump stomped to death by Godzilla? <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, I mean, a novel. See, 20... 2020 was just all building up bad karma so we could have something really great just happen. That one fell swoop. What nonsense. <laughs> there are no such things as monsters. Wait, it can't be. I hope I don't get crushed I, by Godzilla. I, I am Dijon Wan. I'm a monster. I've heard of your deeds. You saved my country from a great crisis. The real assassin was you all along. That is correct. I received a, re a request from a key individual to take the president's life. That man, could he have, you know, grown a hundred feet tall and stepped on him? It's more hey, like you. Than you think. Were you the first to discover the body? Uh, yes, I, um, well. You're under arrest. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Turny game. No, guys, I got it. Dekella just got into a giant boot like Mario and then just <laughs> and then jumped he, on him. He, he got Karibo <laughs> shoot. Probably <laughs> Uh, so we haven't been doing this this game, but chat, I am, I edited it out, I am notoriously bad at the Agent Lang game, so anytime you see one of these, just throw a bunch of L names to help me out here. Agent Lobo. That's actually what his name means anyway, so. Uh, do I, do I also- You gotta, to everybody my... gotta. <laughs> Labradoodle Z says, first come, First suspected. You! Did you really just discover the body? Uh, uh, of course! Please, calm down, you're scaring her! He does seem to have lost his composure. He lost my best friend! Ah! <laughs> calm down? How am I supposed to calm down? Do you know who's been murdered? Di Junhuang, the president of Zheng Fa? Hold it! Agent Liability. This isn't like you. Huh? When we first met, you had an army of subordinates under your command. And you boasted of having the highest arrest rate in Interpol. And what now? Did you forget the f- You lost all your men? Loser! <laughs> Did you forget Agent the f- Agent Loser! <laughs> Stop it! Did you forget the fundamentals of investigation along with all of your men? What? 
did you say? Instead of questioning people at random, you should investigate the crime scene first. Am I wrong? <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. I'll do a thorough investigation. Well, at least it seems he's calmed down for now. Mr. Edwards, let's investigate too! Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> they go home. That's illegal. <laughs> Yes, let us investigate. <laughs> right now, I do not have any investigation rights. But until the police arrive... <laughs> what are y'all saying? Can and break a little law. We've done it, the man behind it all is the mighty Moozilla. We can break a little law as a treat. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pronounced little a law. Anyway, I guess it ain't the man behind it. More like the monster behind it, you know? Wait, yaddy, what about yaddy. a lot of a law? <laughs> Oh, I like La that. Lee -lee -lo. <laughs> Good grief. Could you please- no, Stop it! Why is everyone saying my name? Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Anytime someone says a word that begins with L, he perks up. Good grief. Could you it's please- It's like a dog just... that barks at the doorbell. Rawr, 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 rawr. Could you please Wolves. just try not to interfere with the investigation? Shut your trap! You're the one who better not be sticking your nose into my business. I ain't forgiving you if you mess up my scoop. I'm the worst. Um, excuse me? No! Mm. It's the woman who first discovered the body. I feel like I've seen her before, but she was so unmemorable, it's really not sticking with me. You're Mr. Edgeworth, right? Do you remember me? Um, yes. That case from before. Huh? <laughs> You know her? Yes, I do. At least I think I do. My name's Kay Faraday. I'm Mr. Edward's assistant. My, you have such a cute assistant. I'm Penny Nichols. I'm an assistant at Global Studios. I'm in charge of the props and sets. It's nice to meet you. Yes, that was it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we established this. I once handled a case. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I must have met with her on numerous occasions over the course of the case. Strange I don't remember her, but to be completely honest, <laughs> I had forgotten about her. <laughs> no, she is very noteworthy. She's like maybe the only uh, the only person who... I don't remember if she even takes the stand. It's so rare to have a witness who is like not an obstacle. It's nice to see you again. The fact that you are here must mean that this place is... Oh, okay. Yes, this is sort of an outdoor film lot for Global Studios. Weren't we just... Sort of. Were we at that tower thing? Okay. Yeah, it was like yeah, 9 30 feet cure. away. They're shooting a movie here right now. Because it's a movie lot. I was the first to <laughs> arrive today to set everything up for filming. Uh, but everything seemed strange. Those giant footprints. And that dead body. <laughs> I see. We shall examine the body. to be here. At any rate, could you please contact the police? Yes, right away. But uh, take. Feel free to take a while Wait, you're not because. The police? I, yes, but I need my friends. I'll have to take the time to listen to her story later. First, let us examine the scene. Oops, I clicked off of it. Which means, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm God, sorry, I, there's I, lights I, everywhere. Allow me to look around here. the scene with my strobe vision. <laughs> First, let us examine. I, vision. I haven't seen I, that one recently. I just envision like one of those little police lights pops out of the top of his head. Woo! -woo, 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 -woo. <laughs> he's looking at the crime. Scene. Yeah, I don't. It's time to investigate. I don't know why, but right now my. Anytime I'm clicking off of my game, there's a strobe light. There's always a new fun issue with this emulator. <laughs> no, it's Discord. Discord does that for any program. It's it's not Discord because it's uh, it's happening on my end too. Like I see it as well. Oh, for bizarre! First, let's examine the scene. There are many things besides the body that concern me. Namely, lot of heart is here. I'll need to examine every nook and cranny of this place. Begin investigation. Outside Grand Tower, temporary film lot. Wow, he's dead. Wow, it really is the president. <laughs> this is the most impressive snow angel I've ever seen. He was going really hard. That's one big lily pad. <laughs> yes, to think, we, to think we saw him alive just a few days ago. That would make this a presidential assassination, right? Wow. It's important I, mean... I said it in orange. 
This is a wow. bit flashy for an assassination. It's a flashination. I won't rest I'd until I've done I'd the usual. I'd rather say it's a bit squashy. That's what that's what Edgeworth was doing earlier with the strobe vision. There are no <laughs> visible external wounds, but it's clear that he's already passed away. So then I guess he really did get stepped on by a... A, a monster? <laughs> that's impossible. Next thing you're going to tell me, he has a red mole. Huh? A what? A what? Don't the president's clothes look a bit dirty to you? No, actually. Indeed. There appeared to be some sort of yellow stain. I bet it's monster drool on what? the bottom of the monster's foot. Okay, please be more serious. We'll need to have a forensics... Oh, I misread that. We'll need to have forensics take a closer look at this stain. <laughs> I don't know why this comment from chat made me chuckle. He got crushed by a giant lemon. <laughs> so this was the state of the body. I should make a note of it. <laughs> Can I not investigate the, the stain? I want to look at it. Okay, no, I guess I can't. That's insane. You can't look Can at you... that yet. Can you zoom in? No, um, no apparently. The pixels don't get bigger. <laughs> Usually there's like what a about... specific spot on the body you can check out, but I don't know. What about that viking horn? Yeah, I'll check it oh, out. Oh, yeah. What's this white thing? What... Wait, is this a bone? This looks like we've got a new case on our hands. Oh, by the way, real quick, I've, I've, cl I've missed a lot of this case to a point where Kay is boring again. How did that get resolved? Did she uh, just... I read Her a memory book. came back. This is a new case. Um, oh. It's like... It looks like some sort of bone. And... Oh, no, it doesn't. It looks like a horn. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. What, do, I'm a dumb is that it? on your toes, Kay. Do I, that's all? We're not gonna like look at it? Uh, maybe the edge of the hoof? I'm gonna like check just to make sure. Hoof. Some That might be all, everything given. No, okay. Uh, Over here maybe? No, okay. There's nothing of interest here. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Uh, the stairwell? Maybe just the, the stomp? Yeah, okay. The there are broken pieces of concrete scattered all around the precedent. Yes. They were probably scattered about when the ground got damaged. And that must have been when the monster's foot went thud! If the culprit was actually a monster. Is that... But, like, okay. if he was squished, he would have just be, like, paste. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like a hoof! Yep, definitely looks like a monster's footprint to me. Yeah, there's even three of them, Mr. Edgeworth. A monster with three legs. Hmm. There are no such things as monsters. Do you honestly believe they exist? No, not really, but wouldn't it be cool if they did exist? We're searching for the truth, Kay. Not for what is cool. Otherwise, we wouldn't be in this game at all. <laughs> <It'd be nothing. laughs> all right, just again, checking. <clears throat> yes. Oh, no, there's still more. All right. Um. His legs look weird to me. Oh god, his kneecaps are busted! Yeah, I... Ugh. I can't... Maybe something about how he's just splayed out, like, his feet are still up. Uh, his the feet problem are is still like... pointed up, even though he got crushed. Yeah, that's the one thing that points to him not being squished. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. <laughs> huh. Uh, yeah, if you enter an area like this and it says I won't rest until such and such nook and cranny, that means you haven't found everything. But, like, his body seems to be one item. So I'm not sure what else to look at. Check his hands, maybe his mouth. I already checked his face, but that's never stopped this game from fucking me before. Hmm. You know, let's go somewhere else. The chat. I, I checked the yellow yeah. stuff. It doesn't do anything. Guys, it wasn't. It wasn't a monster. It was a mirror. Oh, so, stop talking. It's just a reflection. <laughs> huh. I. Am I supposed to connect these? Fair enough.
Huh. I mean, there's more to investigate. I'm just weirded out. That, yeah, it could be the stairwell. I'll check there, and then I'm giving up for now. Sounds good. Nope. Logic! <laughs> I, I, clicked, I clicked a little too high. The Nothing of interest here. Yeah, there... Did you check his hand? I did. I, I uh, have checked. Dumb. What about that random piece of rubble in the bottom left-ish? Yeah, this? we're taking a peek he at that. He tried that. There's nothing. No. Uh, you look mm. at that. Huh. Can I talk to Lang? Who? Um, Mr. Prosecutor. Luigi's Mansion. Shall we meet again? Indeed. Just a few days ago, we met at the detention center. Agent Leggings, what brings you here? Just some boring work. Nothing you need to know about. Thanks for the flashback. <laughs> <laughs> you always pick the worst flashbacks. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, what about that time? Anyone ever tell you the bad things happen when you're around? Just don't get in the way of my investigation, okay? I must avenge the death of our president. Why were you here? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> don't you remember? <laughs> <laughs> you arrived here before us. What were you doing in a place like this? You suspect me? <laughs> oh, yes. Absolutely. Come now. I heard his scream. It was the woman who found the body. Yeah, but also, like, why, why were you here? <laughs> oh, I was just out on the town, man. I was at a hot dog stand. <laughs> After hearing the scream, I came in through that entrance over there. Apparently, it wasn't locked. Then why is there Damn a lock man. on the ground over there? I should take a closer look. From, when I got in. From this angle, oh. the way the president has rendered, it looks like he has a normal torso and the legs of an eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Our yeah. great president is the greatest silverback gorilla ever. <laughs> <laughs> the, woman, <laughs> the woman who found the body was already running out the other exit. He just stands up. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> so Hi he there. came here around the same time landing. we did. Why were you at the Grand Tower? Well, I had my reasons. What are they? <laughs> he also said well, something along those lines when we met at the detention center. Maybe he's really a fan of giant monsters and he came to sneak a peek at the Mozilla set. Giant monsters? I've no interest in such things. He clearly doesn't think the murderer is a monster, either. But what if? <laughs> Unless... <laughs> it's regrettable what happened to the president. Yeah. Wang was the pride of Zhang Fa, and yet... It seems Smoosh. like you were... <laughs> it seems like you were... Smoosh is in between his hands. <laughs> quite close to the president. He was my uh, dad. The previous head of the Lang... Oh, no, uh... The locust clan my father served under President Wang. Protecting the life of the president has long been our clan's greatest duty. But God, I goofed. he's so buff. I hate it. <laughs> my old man received a great number of special medals from the president himself, such as thanks for keeping me alive. As and a token thanks of for his... vacuum stealing my suit. <laughs> yeah, with your mouth. As a token of his trust. The president left uh, his will in the protection of the left clan. <laughs> there is okay. those medals and that will. They were the pride of our clan, our family treasures, so to speak. <laughs> Who would have thought the day to unseal that will would arrive so soon? So then, I guess the president was like a close family friend. Huh. But during the incident at Gord Lake, why weren't you with the president, Mr. Like and Subscribe? Well, a lot has changed. It all happened over 12 years ago. Yeah, I could, I could have good flashbacks too if I could remember that far. I didn't uh, exist back then. I was a toaster. No, no, I'm not doing a flashback. Back then, he and my old man were close friends, and our clan protected the president's life, which I already established. But then he suddenly changed. He got shredded. It's as if he became a different person. Nowadays, he doesn't even have a shred of- Now I'm a duck and everyone loves me! 
Those damn anchor arms. Twelve years ago. I wonder where don't where do where do where do where do where. Even so, I still respect the man. Zhengfa is a small country. He barely fit, but he carried the nation with his strength. <laughs> Quite literally. Damn it! Just what were his bodyguards doing? Have you already contacted the embassy? Yeah, of course. I've also informed Zheng Fa and my clan as well. It's gotten pretty hectic there, what with the will and all. But it'll be the same here. Once the bodyguards show up, if you don't want to see me rip into them, I suggest you get out of here soon. Mr. Prosecutor, right now, I'm just a single Interpol agent, a literal lone wolf. They probably won't let me be in charge of- Don't, don't laugh at me! Stop it! But you better believe my fangs are as sharp as ever. I'll definitely capture the culprit with my own hands, and you'd better not get in my way. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, bye. I am now choosing to walk away from you without even <laughs> saying goodbye. As a reminder, don't feed me grapes. Is that, is that a dog thing? <laughs> no, I just... Shh, I gotta go. <laughs> there is a monster costume in front of this building. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, is that really a costume? Do you know how hard it is to put up with you? <laughs> Can you lose your memory again? The monster who made all these footprints and it just shrunk itself down. Slowly pivots towards her. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> you think the uh, little director's and cut thing and just smacking it with that? Bring back dumb K! I'll say this one more time, so listen carefully. There is a monster costume in front of this building. It's just a costume. <laughs> she <laughs> follows his finger? <laughs> Which Where building? It's over here. I'm sorry about earlier. I was a little flustered. You might be the only normal human in all of Ace Attorney. Look at me with my glasses yeah, and my normal, normal hair. Look at Discovery of the wearing. body. Were you here alone? Yes, I arrived before everyone else today in order to get things prepared. When I entered the lot, I immediately noticed those giant hoof prints. The monster's footprints, right? Weren't you surprised? Yes, because they hadn't been there yesterday evening. <laughs> So wow! That, so that means the footprints were made last night. Well, when I first saw them, I, I thought they were a part of the set. But when I got closer to the studio, I saw that a person had collapsed. You didn't notice until you got closer? Lately, it seems my eyesight has gotten worse again, and, and my glasses aren't strong enough. I keep forgetting to put the lenses in. <laughs> As I approached the body, I finally realized what it was. I was so scared I ran away. I would, I would fucking love it if... Like, these investigations games really enjoy bringing back old cameos. I would love it if they were just like, hey, we're just going to make Penny Nichols the murderer in this case of, like, the final hmm. case of our game because we can do whatever we want to her. It's a Chad she, move. She's being, she's Chad on the stand and they're like, ah, it was you. And she uh, goes, yes, and pulls a red mole out of her pouch. Stop. <laughs> and that was when she ran into us. Filming a movie. You said that they were a filming movie. a movie. Could it be a steel samurai? No. Fuck. So it wasn't. <laughs> we're making a monster movie this time around. Have you ever heard of the Mighty Muzilla series? I'm sorry, but no. Mr. Edgeworth isn't interested in anything other than the steel samurai in Phoenix, right? After all. That. That's. Not true. Uh, I guess that's to be expected, as the promotion for the film hasn't really started yet. <laughs> there you go. The mighty, the mighty Muzilla. Its revival breaks its 12 years of silence. It's the long-awaited sequel to the original series, so the staff are all fired up. The film is set at the Grand Tower, so we're filming on location around this area. Remember to, in the last case? Come to think of it, <laughs> yesterday... <clears throat> What's wrong, pal? Did something happen at the Grand Tower? 
excuse me, we're sort of in the middle of shooting a movie, and, um... See, that flashback was very informative. I can do it. I saw them filming something then. It must have been this. I bet it ends with Mozilla completely destroying the Grand Tower! <laughs> I wonder. You'll have to look forward to finding out in the theaters. If you like, you can have this. I don't want that. <laughs> Penny. <laughs> let's, let's see. Just bats it out of her hand. God, I would love and it. it was just Gordy. Mighty Mozilla versus a big snake. The that battle Gordy of the century. Now it meets its greatest rival, Mighty Mozilla versus Gordy. Wait, Gordy? This time it won't just be Mozilla. A rival monster appears as well. Have you heard of it? Gordy of Gord Lake? Ah, wasn't it the talk of the town two or three years ago? Oh, it's messy. It's a mysterious Nothing monster living you, in Gord Sam. Lake. <laughs> by chance, someone took a photo of it. It wasn't just the talk of the town. It was also involved in a case from my past. Flashes back, but it's the same flashback he just showed of them running into Penny Nichols. <laughs> Shit. Hmm. <laughs> Gordy. Oh, I haven't cleared my RAM yet. Now there's a name I really don't want to remember. When the director caught wind of that rumor, he decided to add it into the story. I get the feeling it was a bit late to catch on. Please look forward to seeing the showdown between these two rival monsters. There's a murder right, advertising right this now. Movie. And... <laughs> the movie is not coming out. A man has died. Is there anything out of place with what I've investigated so far? I, a lot. <laughs> Hey, hey, why wasn't it locked? I should confirm what the security situation was like at the time of the crime. Miss Nichols, was the entrance of this place locked? Yes, it's locked with this. Which I unlocked. Kind of <laughs> yeah, but that's in your hand. <laughs> it holds it out. It's locked right now. Mm, yeah, it's one of those types where you have to put it in his Sorry. <laughs> About this combination lock. Uh, what is the combination? Was it also properly locked today? Yes, when I arrived here today, it was locked tight. Who knows the combination? The producer, the director, the staff, and the actors. I think everyone involved in the movie knew about it. So anyone involved with the film could have opened the combination lock and gone in. Logic! You know who was involved with the film? <clears throat> Mozilla. <laughs> I like to imagine he just looks straight up at the sky when he says that. I love that concept because that means Mozilla made the attempt with his big hands to operate the combination lock, move oh. the door aside, and then step over to crush oh, this man. Something. Look at the wall above Edgeworth's head. Oh, yeah. Miss Nichols, where does this entrance lead to? It's connected to the Grand Tower lot. Does this case also have something to do with that building? Yes, it's next to it. A building oh, with that's a secret... the dent I made when I fell off the building! Oh, oh no. my god! <laughs> she just... Tung. Well, hang on, we better confirm. Grabs can, slams her in so she <laughs> loses her memory again. The building with a secret 51st floor where the black market auditions were... Uh, auditions <laughs> were being aired. <laughs> okay! Let's let's go back to America's top black market criminal. God. <laughs> Susan is a murderer and is excellent at faking diamonds. It, would be, <laughs> it wouldn't be strange if it was still hiding a few more secrets. Grand Tower Deidre. Oh, I <laughs> hmm, this lock and chain. Ah, someone cut through the chain. What? I'm sure it was locked up properly yesterday, though. Yes, yes and someone got well, that through it. Do you think, Penny, Louis... there is a thing called the passage of time? <laughs> Do you think? No, it was fine yesterday, therefore. Its Do you temporal think? state should be the same today. Penny Nichols, I need to let you know that today and yesterday are different days. Sounds fake. Do you think <laughs> I've solved it. Mozilla was just trying to undo the combination lock, accidentally cut the lock in half with one of its claws, went, oh shit, oh jeez, stepped inside to pick the lock up and stepped on the president by accident. <laughs> then uh, it's possible it was the culprit, all an accident. Then it's possible the culprit forced his way in through here. Logic. Ah, <laughs> ah. What, 
What is it? I say in my brain. <laughs> it's completely <laughs> dented in. How did this happen? Hmm. Well, there is indeed a huge dent in the fence over here. Something rather heavy must have struck it in order to make a dent like that. I'm smart. It wasn't like that at all yesterday. <laughs> Any It wasn't? So then this dent was Let's made just play along with her. Let's just yeah. So this dent was made last night. Logic. <laughs> this might be the most amount of logic that I've ever had at once. Hang on, I just I just wanna it's really hard to move in this game. It's gonna not gonna get any good pictures while I'm standing here. Later. <laughs> My eyes hurt. This is, I think, the most logic I've ever had. <laughs> Damn. Really putting his RAM to the test. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's two locks and one was forced open. That feels like yeah. relevant information to me. Yeah. Wow! The front entrance. I am which, smiling. That means I'm right. The front entrance, which leads to the tower plaza, was locked with a combination lock. At the other end, the lock on the rear entrance, which leads to the grand <coughs> tower, was broken. Now, where does this lead us? To the grand tower. Why you just said. Are you talking like that? I'm smiling. <laughs> Don't do that. I can't stop, Kay. <laughs> Let me just... There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I know this one. The culprit entered from the rear entrance, right? Exactly. And knowing this, it's happening Stop again! It! <laughs> we now understand one more critical fact. Push harder. The culprit must be someone who didn't know the number to unlock the combination lock. Right. If they knew the code, it wouldn't have been way, it would have been way easier to enter from the front entrance. Entering through the back door is common sense for a thief. It's much m less conspicuous. We can't underestimate a culprit who thinks like a thief. Please keep your guard up. She sure becomes lively all of a sudden when this subject gets brought up. To put it simply, everyone involved with the movie knows the combination for the lock. In other words, it's quite likely that the culprit is someone who is not involved with the film. It's kind of a flimsy. Like, I don't know. Safety measure? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that necessarily... What's the word for... What's the opposite of indicts? Like... Oh, innocence. No. Innocence sizes. <laughs> Spaghetti-o. Yeah, that uh, works. What other logic do I have? Because there's a pretty good amount. Maybe the body. <laughs> he fell. Oh, do you think the president is the one who got pushed off the roof and not K? No. Ah. Okay. But no one saw his body until now? He bounced. Well, it would have been locked. There wouldn't have been people doing stuff because it was late at night when it happened. I can't get over K's fucking pencil legs. What's that? <laughs> Oh wow! I'm trying to yeah, they're tiny. Oh. This seems to be the lighting equipment they're using for the film. Ah, that's right. There's something I wanted to ask you, Mr. Edgeworth. When I'm stealing something, can you use this to make me look cool in a spotlight? Sure, I'll do that. The first time you ever steal something, you want someone to shine a light on you when you're stealing something. Well, duh. If the Yadagarasu's handiwork can't be seen because it's too dark, wouldn't you feel bad for the people watching? You're planning to steal things with an audience looking on. I'm not going to, I'm just going to walk away. Where are you going? Okay. No, come Kay, back. You can't Kay run. Is so, it, she is so tiring to me because she is so mm -hmm. aggressively boring. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> what do you want? I'm a busy gal. You better not get in my way. Why are you so obsessed with that monster? <laughs> So she takes a bite out of a candy bar. I How was drinking tea. <laughs> are you? I've never seen you do that before. I'm trying new things. Such a oh. thing. Such yeah, a th good for you. Good for you. I didn't used to be able to eat things. Flashes back to any other moment in his life. Not eating something. <laughs> Such a thing couldn't possibly exist. 
What'd you say? I ain't letting that pass. Mozilla lives. I'm sure of it. It's the mightiest monster on this side of the Pacific Rim. I don't suppose you have some kind of basis for that. I, uh, saw it with my own two eyes. What? You saw it? <laughs> no way! Yes way, the mighty Moozilla was really here last night when I was on the 51st floor of the Grand Tower. You mean when you were snooping around the black market auction? That's right, I was right around when I took the photo. That's the photo of the person in the red hood. This was Joe Crane, right? You see those blinds next to the red hood? I done had me a peek while the mighty Moozilla was on the other side. Um... There's, uh, nothing in the photo. It's mighty hard to capture something like that from such a distance. But I seen it plain as day, even though it was night. Ugh. Zilla's giant eye was peering in through those blinds. The monster was peering in? Looky here, now... Now ain't the time for whatever the fuck that last word was. I gotta gather my materials. <laughs> Y'all are in my way. Now go on, get! Shoo, shoo! How absurd. Can I make a can I make a stupid prediction? Um, Go for it. The eye was some kind of spherical object that she misinterpreted to be the eye. It got cracked, fell, bounced, and killed him. Yep. Good enough. Mr. Edgeworth, you must be completely dumbfounded right now, aren't you? What a theory! Much better than anything you could come up with with solid fact and logic. <laughs> He's crying! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there's apparently something to be found here. Uh, I'm about to strobe just so I can look at the walkthrough. I don't like wasting time on stuff like this. It's annoying. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Sorry. Look away. Look away. <laughs> look away. Yeah, I was about Shield to do that too. Eyes, children. Set on my monster. Also, judge on some crime scene notes. Examine the broken locks. There's grand towers. Organizer. Little, little, little rear entrance forced open. Tenant fence. Deduce. It doesn't. I don't. Deduce. See. Oh, there's a deduce. I never noticed those. Oh, what shit. It's fucking stupid. Okay. Thank you for pointing that out. I thought at first you were just doing like an action noise, like deduce. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's a to douche, to douche. Okay. <laughs> it was me, Jack Black. <laughs> I killed him. Okay. What could I deduce here? Well, the this is. It was an octagon. The body is surrounded by pieces of concrete. Check for details. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> Great suggestion. Years, there's a lot of a lot of twelve years ago shit going on. Thank you, Savvy. I Okay. I um So because this game has done shit like this before, do I need to deduce that it could be the Muzilla that made this footprint? I know that's ridiculously dumb, and characters have already said it, but it is the type of thing that oh, this game Oh, are you will supposed do. to deduce that the horn belongs to Muzilla? That's not better, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm glad other people are here when I play this, because, like, why? Like, obviously, why would. Doesn't this horn belong to that monster, Muzilla? Oh. I would never do that, because it's so- Oh, it's that little boar thing, the fucking cow in the picture. Because it's- The toy stuffed cow? Yeah. Huh? Uh. Oh, You're it... right, it looks just like it. Maybe it's a prop for the film? Based on the size of the horn, the head should be quite large. I wonder how it ended up here. I'm sure we'll find out if I ask someone. No, 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 no. Well, thanks, great. No, 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 no. Well, is is that everything? Because the deduce is gone. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm glad we cleared up that one. And oh, all the new information we gleaned. 
We knew it was a horn, but did you know it was Muzilla's horn? I did. I did immediately assume that. Thank you. <laughs> What if it was my horn? I, I might, you know, I don't think I've ever said this before about any video game, but I'd be better at, at Ace Attorney Investigations if I was dumber. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, all right. Let's, uh, let's... I'm, I just want an interesting character to show up. I'm so desperate for an the, interesting The last case was, like, a pretty fun case to read through. It was just bad when we were playing it. Um... All right, real, real quick, I want to have Twitch chat behind me, so the strobe is going to happen again. You should use your phone. Did you know? You Did can you? bring up the Twitch chat on your phone. Did this you is know? a feature that it was introduced. I'd, I'd rather have it next to the game I'm playing. <laughs> um, The ladder is suspicious. What ladder? <laughs> oh, the... Oh. There's no ladder here. Can't look at that. Something, something There's... step ladder. Um, there was no ladder in Bossing Say. Maybe talk to Penny again. Again. Be like, was that horn from the Mozilla? Yep. <sighs> <laughs> I'm exactly the dumbass you needed to play this game. I'm real oh, glad no. you're here. <laughs> About this horn. You ever seen it before? Huh? They said to talk no. to the staff, to be fair. Yeah, I did already. <laughs> How? See, the problem is, instead of like... Ma the, the problem with the investigation games and why the logic system is bad is because you need to, like... If you're playing these games normally, the reason Ace Attorney works normally is you make the logical jump yourself. In this game, you need to explain to the game that you made the assumption jump. Uh, and instead I'm just like, I just get left going, what am I supposed to do? And it's like, well, you have to tell me that you understand that a, sometimes a cigar is a cigar. It's like, I don't, why do I have to do this? There's no reason that the first time I investigated the horn, someone shouldn't have just gone, maybe that was from Mozilla. Because the characters already knew Mozilla existed. It's stupid. That's um, Mozilla's horn! It's a model we made it for our ad campaign. Where was it? It's right over ah! there! You I idiot! I can't see! That's strange. It wasn't there yesterday! <laughs> oh, don't you know? Moose shed their horns! <laughs> He's a cow! <laughs> cool! <laughs> Mozilla's head should have been stored on the studio roof. I sub shed sh show your work, Ace Attorney it is. <laughs> Moose shed their horns. <laughs> I suppose the head would have to be rather large, wouldn't it? Yes, it's not as big as the real thing, of course, but it's still quite large. I Great. <laughs> I combined, look, you can see it from here. I combined her name and the word look into just Ponk. Hold on, I'm gonna take my medication. I thought I was too boring, so I added a funny character tick. I say punk now. <laughs> <laughs> punk. <laughs> she just has like I a clown nose. Otherwise. She has a clown nose, but it's like bright purple <laughs> instead of red. Punk. <laughs> See, it's right there. It certainly is right there. <laughs> cool. See, I knew it was there because it was there yesterday. Ah, uh, but that's just the tip. Ooh. There <laughs> sure are a lot of interesting things around here. <laughs> you fucking said it. <laughs> it's the equipment we use for filming. The Mozilla costume and the camera crane. Instead of teehee, should I say ponk honk? <laughs> should that be <laughs> 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 Oh shit! There really are treasures. I'm getting kind of excited. It's possible that some of this equipment was used in the crime. I'd better take a closer look. Cool. Glad I couldn't look at it before. I just don't understand why you can't just look at shit and like, like I don't know why you need to show your work. It You're doesn't... interrupting my really deep story. I wonder what this iron pole is for. Oh, maybe it's used to practice tree climbing. That wouldn't even Shut be the good fuck for up, that. Hey. Why don't you just climb a tree, you dumb shit? Well, you, there's no trees where I come from. The 
I think the biggest difference between the Professor Layton games and the uh, Ace Attorney games, besides the sixth one of them being good versus horrendous, is that in the Professor Layton games, your assistants have things to say that I enjoy reading. And even in the good Ace Attorney games, I think I've never wanted my assistant to be alive <laughs> and with me. <laughs> no, this is a film crane. It's used to capture footage from high locations. Right now, it's not attached, but normally there would be a camera connected to the end. Get it out of your mouth. Get it out of your mouth. We'll be waiting for you. No. <laughs> How exactly may I ask do you intend to bring it back home with you? I licked it. It's mine now. I'll take the top part. Simon Black. And I'll take the tip. <laughs> is by far the best assistant. He's pretty good. I actually, uh, my favorite dynamic of ma controlled character and assistant character is when in the sixth game you get to, uh, get to be Apollo and Athena together. Which will never happen again, unfortunately. Does she mm. actually expect me to help her? <laughs> Not only do you want me to help you carry it, but you plan to leave it at my house? <laughs> Be I'm glad we unlocked that. <laughs> Anything else? Ah, it's one of those sheets you lay on the floor when you're having a picnic. It's very definitely a vinyl sheet. However, I don't think it's for picnics. It's for bodies. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, if I may... Punk! <laughs> that's actually a waterproof sheet. It's used with the camera crane over there. We'll cover the camera crane with it when it's raining. Then this sheet must be pretty big. Yes, it would be pointless if we didn't cover the entire crane. Well, you wouldn't have weather... to cover it if you lent me the crane. <laughs> the weather was overcast yesterday, so we've been using it quite a bit. What's my uh, what's my favorite Professor Layton game? The third one. Cool. It was overcast yesterday, so it must still be overcast. <laughs> No way! Mozilla must be pretty big. Pretty big. <laughs> must God. be pretty big. Like the the bit we're doing for Penny feels like a weird curse a Faye would put on you. <laughs> <laughs> the dent in you this fence it out. and the broken horn. Neither of these things were there yesterday evening. Based That's on what the I said. Based on the <laughs> facts. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting it. Yes, I remember her saying that flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Start slowly going insane when we're trapped in this filming lot. Yeah, could Mozilla's head of. Oh, sorry. Oh! Indeed! <laughs> the head that was on the rooftop may have tumbled down to the ground. Logic! This is a new possibility, which would mean that. Oh, alright. My god. If that man got crushed by a giant, like. Like plasticine animal head from 51 stories up. Holy shit. We may shit. have found the missing murder weapon. Huh? Huh? At the moment, I can only say that this is just a possibility. If the giant monster head had fallen off from the studio roof. Ah, oh, that could definitely be a murder weapon. Miss Nichols? It would be Adams at that point. Miss Nichols, <laughs> we may. <laughs> Miss Nichols, may we investigate the studio roof? The roof? Uh, yeah, sure. Miss Nichols, not we cops. may investigate the studio roof. You listen to us now. Miss Nichols, ahead. we could investigate the studio roof yesterday. Well, then I guess you can do it today, too. Great. But the stairs can be a little bit slippery, so please watch your step. I don't. I hate how you I said wonder. that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Mr. Prosecutor. I'm going to take my leave here for a bit. Hold on! There's something I have to check. You look like he's holding his arms out! I... <laughs> I... Who's the drop prison, prosecutor? I'm stealing this from... <laughs> I'm stealing this from chat, because it was by far my favorite one I saw. Just, Tis better to have la agent loved and lost than to never have <laughs> lying at all. I wonder if he's caught on to something. Hmm? It stinks. Maybe. Oh, it stink. Great. Hey, son. Yeah. They start fighting each other. Move it. 
I love this kid's design. What did you say? Guess you're just a brat with no manners. <gasps> Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> and you're an annoying old man. Quit your yapping already. Or I'll <laughs> break you with my strong bones. I'm so fucking strong. Uh, this, <sighs> this kid kind of looks like... Something about his eyes reminds me of, like, your actual eyes, Marissa. But, like, then if I took all of the rest of your features, deleted them, and polished your head into, like, a cue ball shine and put a wig on it. Perfect. <laughs> you know what happened after I drank all this milk and gained strong bones? That Mozilla head fell from the 52nd floor, bounced off me, and killed that old man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I terribly sorry. Damage. John! Come on, John! That's his name. As it turns out, having strong bones doesn't stop your organs from fucking pasting. <laughs> My brain is jelly. What are you doing? Shaking up a jug of juice! God, I wish we were- <laughs> I wish we did this strong bone joke a second before this kid talked. You know what voice I'd do in that event. Anyway. Who is that? Someone from the police! Why'd you suddenly pick a fight with him? Pick a fight with a cop? I'm sorry, I was looking at my yogurt! He didn't budge an inch. <laughs> Even before Agent Low Fat Milk. Ah, oh, allow me to introduce you. This is Low John Marsh. Marsh. I'm gonna drink him! I, I don't get it. John Marsh. Yeah, what is the pun? He's the lead actor in our movie. The lead actor? John is this Marsh. child? Hi, I'm Kay Faraday. My name also doesn't make sense. And this is Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth. Prosecutor. He's a pretty famous prosecutor, you know. But he's not wearing a prosecutor's badge. You don't know what the fuck that is. <sighs> he's frightfully perceptive. Uh, I drink my milk. Yeah, I, I don't know if a thousand photos is enough. I think I'm gonna <laughs> get two thousand. <laughs> uh, the oh. reason I'm so perceptive is I pour milk into my eyes. Milk is a great source of source of carotene. That's why it's orange. What are you <laughs> drinking? It's probably better if you didn't go over there. That's certainly not a sight a child should see. <laughs> However, he is someone involved with the case. I'll need to speak with him later. Later is right this second. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me. John, was it? Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? I won't explain how my name works. Hey, old man! You're really a prosecutor. Yes. <laughs> old man? I'm not a man. <laughs> Are you first, show me your prosecutor's badge. I don't have my badge with me right now. Then you can't prove you're a prosecutor, old man. <sighs> hmm. This kid's a tough nut to crack, isn't he? Want me to smack him? Yes, I'm <laughs> counting on you, Kay. I'm not good with kids. <laughs> I keep Got missing because they're too short. It's like trying to hit Odd Job in GoldenEye 007. <laughs> so, John, you're an actor? Yeah, what about it? That's pretty cool. You're amazing. N not really. <laughs> Good grief. At least that seems to have worked. Good grief. What? Good, he said that like three times in this case. Oh. Good grief. Look at those horns. You cosplaying? You make them yourself? Uh, yeah, what yeah. about them? They grow naturally. <laughs> have you I'm ever heard of Carcat Vantis? John's horns are specially made prosthetics. They're actually his teeth. If you unscrew them, his brain <laughs> pours out like a milk bottle. Wait, what oh. did you say? <laughs> Don't worry about it. So that. much milk that they grew through his scalp. <laughs> like some fucking horrible wild hog who can't stop his teeth growing. They, oh, they, Jesus Christ. They, like that episode of The Simpsons where Lisa needs braces. They're actually, they function a lot like mandibles on an ant. They're pretty intimidating. Anyway, can communicate with Godzilla using the horn. His own weight. 
Shut up! <laughs> My milk has turned to confetti! <laughs> Stop blabbering about that stupid stuff. Oh, sorry. I think I'm beginning to see the kind of relationship these two have. But it must be amazing to start a movie, and you're only in elementary school. I assume. I'm 25. I bet you he's gonna say that shit right now. Oh, that's why he drinks all this fucking milk. Fucking Despite how fuck. he looks, John is 13 years old, and he's oh, already no in middle school. Oh, no fucking big deal. Whatever. What? But he's so small and tiny and big. <laughs> Being stinky! <laughs> you wear a wood diaper! We can't do this again, Sam! <laughs> <laughs> poopy, poopy, poopy! Oh, can't get a poop his pants? This is part of the costume! Please! <laughs> I see, but he's still really tiny! Redraw of that one meme of a bunch of girls gathered around a phone. <laughs> How are you that small? <laughs> it's probably better if you didn't talk about his height in, in front of... I thought he told you to stop blabbering about that stupid stuff. You know what Sorry. this kid reminds me of? He reminds me of a Dorawara character. Yeah. It seems the only thing that's not a prop is that milk carton. This is hey, Thor's God, milk. Hey, you want to shut up? That what? guy over there, he's the How president, tall are right? You yeah, no, if, uh, admittedly, I was gonna dive on the, like, this kid reminds me of you, but it didn't. <laughs> <There wasn't> Silence! <laughs> yep. Do you know him? Yeah, I've met him before. This boy has met with the president. Hmm. That guy makes me sick. That's not a very 13-year-old thing to say. Why do you hate the president so much? Hmm. Yeah, now he's giving me the silent treatment. I guess he has a short temper. <laughs> <laughs> um, the truth is, the president was involved in the film. The president was involved in the film. What do you mean? He was supposed to have a brief cameo in the movie. You know, kind of like Home Alone 2. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he came by to look at the set some time ago. That's when he met with John. Why I think the... it was yesterday. Why? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why would the president <laughs> be appearing in this film? We heard he was a fan of the original Mozilla series. And so we made him an offer. He thought it would make great publicity, you see? He comes on the movie set like he's some sight on some sightseeing tour. It's so annoying. John, you really shouldn't say stuff like that. Yeah. It's not nice. Movies he's fucking are dead. For seeing. Shut it. I guess he couldn't tolerate having an amateur appear in his film. Yeah, because you're gonna get a lot of medals for a Godzilla movie. <laughs> All right, here. What's this? Oh, was this from yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Penny, not everything <laughs> was from yesterday. Punk! A photo. A photo. You know, it's, you know, it's really ironic that her name's Penny because it never drops. <laughs> yeah, since it was developed, I brought it along with me. You can have it. I think it turned out quite nicely. So you brought it all the way here for me? Thank you so much. No, not really. I just happened to have it with me. Excuse me, but... May I take a quick look at it? I am Miles Edgeworth. Where's your prosecutor <laughs> badge? Oh, Only prosecutors can look at photographs. <laughs> so, this was taken yesterday. Yeah! Neither the hoof prints <laughs> nor the body are in it. I, yeah. Could you imagine if the body was in it? <laughs> <laughs> that, that has been pretty much to a T in Ace Attorney case. All right. What did I miss? Nothing. Pong. Nothing. All right. It's Ace Attorney. You didn't miss shit. Okay. Hmm. In this photo, Mozilla's a little chunky. <laughs> Looks like he needs to go in the treadmill. <laughs> He's got a little in the middle, as they say. Mozilla only exists in the movies. For it to become an actual incident, the thought never even crossed my mind. John, I'd like you to cooperate with the investigation. Fuck you! 
<laughs> In that case, maybe you should make me care enough to cooperate, old man. Where's your prosecutor mm. badge? He's not very approachable. <laughs> Just spits on you. <laughs> oh, his, and the worst is he's been drinking yeah, milk. His, milk so his <laughs> spit would be so viscous. Ugh. He just spits out a block of cheese. Oh, oh, God. Kid, you gotta get those tonsil stones looked at. John, if you oh. cooperate with that, <laughs> give me some delicious candy. I'm 13. Don't yeah, treat me I like a kid. I'm 17 and I still like candy. Oh, you might candy crush attack a TM. Candy crush TM. If you're not interested in doing kid things, you can help me with taxes. Taxes? That sounds cool! <laughs> I want <love> taxes! <laughs> oh, here, it's my prosecutor's well, badge! <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Giving me this isn't gonna land your role in the film. I wasn't Do showing I it to like you so movie? that I could be in the movie. Hmm. Sorry. Okay, let's just leave it at that, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> How about this guy? What's, what do you think about this guy? I don't know. <laughs> you think showing me a dead body will make me want to put you in my movie? Well, I, I was hoping. I don't know why I'm assuming that showing someone something will do anything, but... I think we can go on the, the roof, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. Either way, I'm going to check this. Huh, it's the photo that John brought. Who took this photo? The, the camera, camera has a self timer. We I took it with that. just the three of us. So about the third person. Just who is in that Mozilla costume in the background? That's actually rather than me telling you, it'd be better if you found out for yourself. I think they'll be outside the studio a lot, so if you get a chance later, please go there. How about they'll definitely you... be there? How about no. you just tell me with your mouth they right were there now? Yesterday, <laughs> yeah, he was there yesterday. Why oh would he be there today? Hmm. Later, huh? Understood. <laughs> we'll do that. Later <gasps> is now. Time is all the same. God. I just realized this is extra funny since she's got the stopwatch on her chest. Uh huh. <laughs> That's her, that's her, like, heart or whatever, a la Tracer or Iron Man. <laughs> May we see the roof? Yes, of course. Go right ahead. Honk, she, honk, the cavalry's here. She just goes, check out this neat trick. Hits stuff on the stopwatch and drops dead. <laughs> <laughs> Too long, losers. <laughs> I say, pressing my stopwatch, a dust cloud appears. When it clears, I am lying dead in the dirt. <laughs> So, Get in the hoof print. This is Mozilla. Huh? Somehow this doesn't feel quite right. Because the horn is broken. See, this looks Shouldn't way have... cooler. And he doesn't have a nose ring either. I see. You two aren't familiar with Mozilla. You fucking plebs. This is Mozilla's original design from 12 years ago. Oh, he got a glow up. That's our take on it for the new movie. We revamped the design to appeal to modern audiences. Revamped. Hey, music. But it looks totally different. Music. What are you doing here? <laughs> it's intense. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was like, what the ah, hell from is the it? from the musician who brought you the Resident Evil director's cut basement theme. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. And no matter how you look at this one, it's a cow. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course. After all, Mozilla was originally a cow monster. A cow monster? Guys, it's called Mozilla! <laughs> Having a cow, an animal that uh, humans are very familiar with, turn into a monster, allows us to question mankind's relationship with nature. That's the theme of Mozilla. More Ooh. like Boozilla. <laughs> Moo! Punk! Nor do I. <laughs> I just push her <laughs> off the roof. <laughs> I rest until I inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Nothing strange. WHITE! <laughs> we made this replica of the original Mozilla's head for promotional purposes. But the horn wasn't broken yesterday. <laughs> we'll be using it to let people know that the film is a sequel to the original series. I guess it would be hard for people to tell that they're the same monster. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> they look really 
similar. It's, that's like, God, that's like Shin Godzilla and regular Godzilla being put next to each other. It's like, but they're the same. They're not the same thing. No. No. As we suspected, one of the horns appears to be broken. <laughs> Like, it with a cow? Yeah! It's possible. <laughs> However, there's something I don't quite understand. Mozilla's a what? cow? <laughs> Miss cow? Nichols, this head looks rather heavy. How do you transport it? On wheels. Uh, it's made so that it can be taken apart. Infinite Scratch is <laughs> the horn- She just grabs an axe. <laughs> <laughs> is the horn broke? <laughs> we need to break it down into hamburgers and then reassemble it. Someone in chat. Is the horn broken? We need to logic it. Do not make jokes. <laughs> it's not that hard if you know how to do it. But if you don't know how, it would be pretty much impossible, I think. Which means it would be difficult for anyone not involved in the film. When taken apart, would it be possible for one person to carry it alone? Definitely. Given enough time, even I could do it. Even I could do it. <laughs> Yeah, I, could, I could have murdered the president. However, With this the... face is. Mr. Edgeworth, um, I feel like I've seen this cow somewhere before. It's Mozilla, Kate. No, <laughs> I don't know. Indeed, I was just thinking the exact same thing. Hang on, flashback. I was kidding. <laughs> no. It was on board the president's no. plane. Oh, okay. And in the storeroom of the black market auction. You, I appreciate them doing this instead of having us logic that. Yeah, me too. You're this not is... allowed to because that's evidence from last case. No, mm. that, that doesn't change anything, unfortunately. The president's oh. stuffed toy. So, that was a doll of the original Mozilla. Could this really just be a coincidence? No. Are you stupid? Miles, are you an idiot? Are you going to have to logic... Are these that bones? the president was a fan of Muzilla, so that's why he has a Muzilla doll. I love how every time we play this, I get thrown off by the very first logic like leap that you should have immediately had, and then I spend the rest of the case going, "How stupid do I need to be to advance oh, this?" Oh, well, then that means that the fucking president was in the smuggling ring. Well, yeah, he sucks. <laughs> Some sort of wooden stand has fallen over. The area around it appears to be burnt black. Huh? Mozilla's head should have been on that stand. <laughs> but it where was, was it yesterday? yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> the lights have been broken off due to the erosion of time. <laughs> the broken legs seem to be badly burnt. I think we're burnt safe, yesterday. I think it's safe to assume that a small fire occurred here. Well, I don't know how that could have happened, you know. <laughs> a small fire, huh? Is that what Burton broke the legs of the stand? When the legs broke, the stand would have tilted. If All right, this, this, this mode is funny. I'll leave this one switched on. It would have fallen off, so the head fell down because of the fire. Yes, and if that's the case, I also have a pretty good idea of what caused the fire. There's a flammable <laughs> can really next to the theater. Up. The heat it hurt. really was, yeah. What was? I, I it was didn't a really it. intense shot. Ah. <laughs> it seems someone is lacking in safety awareness. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. I'm, I promise we won't kill the Chinese president again. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't what think anyone used the heater yesterday. You have to wait for me. <laughs> I see. <laughs> In that case, I wonder what caused the fire. There wasn't a fire yet. Oh, oh we're done. Okay. Hooray! We did, it. we did it! And with that, this portion of the investigation seems to be finished, I guess. Something Safe caused place. that fire? You mean the fireplace? Yes. As it stands now, <laughs> the possibility that it was a monster head is quite high. So, look at how intense that is! There's like a blur, there's speed lights. I feel like Sandstorm should be blaring over this image while it shakes in place. So, he ended up being squashed by the falling head, huh? Hmm? I'm here now. I got my boys. Will. Will? Will! 
Although they're extremely late to the party, the bodyguards and the police have finally arrived. Mr. President! <laughs> Mr. They really were President. far too late. Damn, Damn it, who did this? They'll pay for this. I swear I'll make them pay. But you know, this much is enough to put me at ease. He's dead. The person who did this to Huang. I've already got my eye on a suspect. Is it Penny Nichols? Even though Huang was the victim, he doesn't have an extra... Oh, thank God. He doesn't have extraterritorial rights oh. here. Your country's police canceled that after the last bullshit we dealt with. Your country's police have the right to investigate. However, I've already spoken with them. As an agent of Interpol, they'll let, uh, they're letting me assist in the investigation. So, they've already established a plan for this investigation. I've already found my prey. Now it's time for the hunt. Take a look at this. It's a printout from a security Hold camera. Up a mirror. <laughs> no, not a mirror. I hate those. A security camera on the Grand Tower rooftop. Oh, fun. Korewa! <gasps> oh. What? This is... Korewa bitch! This camera <laughs> records... Oh, that's the wrong voice. This camera records people as they get off the rooftop elevator. And guess who and was recorded? Who was recorded. The president and his killer can be clearly seen. Sorry, I had to do work shit. Yeah, get that oh, bitch! Good. Get it! <laughs> Oh, it wasn't a hoof step, it was a giant gavel. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's her finisher. So he's saying Judge Courtney is the murderer? Okay, I'm not defending her. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I shall leave this offering to the goddess of law to you. I'm going to murder the president. <laughs> <laughs> Deliver her divine judgment against Blaise de Best. Could she, who hates crime more than anyone, have? Oh, more than anyone? <laughs> That's the name of her uh, light novel. Which part? All of it. Just have. <laughs> Agent Lobster Thermidor. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> I'd like to hear your thoughts. Not so fast. Okay. That's Head empty. <laughs> Slow down. Just now, I heard a rumor at the Grand Tower. Miles Edgeworth, that you are no longer a prosecutor. Yeah, you know who took that from me was Judge Justine Courtney. Oh, what a coincidence! <laughs> Girl! Naturally, that means you don't even have a shred of investigative authority. So what would be the point of having a logic battle with someone like you? Oh, thank God. Why would you say something like that? <laughs> today, be alone, Adrian. Uh, today the part of Kay Faraday will be performed by Christopher Walken. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Didn't you also just, you know? Ow. <laughs> hey, answer me this. No. Even though you've lost your position as a prosecutor. Why are you still sticking your neck into this case? Because a, a guy died eight <laughs> feet from me, so I decided to look at it. Why do I still continue to investigate? Agent Logic. Why are you pursuing the criminal who murdered the president? Because you're an Interpol agent? Question mark? <laughs> it's my job? What? What is Right the, now, what? I am also chasing after a certain person. Nick and I have been playing tag for two years, and I cannot find him anywhere. Oh, I, I thought it was me, and I... Oh. Ooh, you, you read it wrong, buddy. Someone yeah. in the shadows who was behind the murder at the Grand Tower yesterday. Yesterday? Someone <laughs> yeah, who placed K in grave Hi. danger. Even now, they are lurking somewhere, laughing at us. We will uncover the truth and bring them to justice. And the title such as Prosecutor has nothing to do with it. As long as the truth remains hidden, I will continue to seek out that truth. For that is part of my creed. Okay, but it is illegal. Okay. <laughs> you. You're always trying to be so clever. But you really are kind of an idiot. <laughs> Me? An idiot? How rude! That's the answer I wanted to hear. All right, I'll play along with you for a bit. 
I've lost all my men, and you've lost your title. Why did you and lose yet... all your men? <laughs> I killed them. We had, a gasol... <laughs> we, uh, we had a gasoline fight. <laughs> I was the winner. <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> I was out there. <laughs> I was out there with all my boys, Chad Dump Truck, and, and a meteor came down and hit all of them. And killed all of them. <laughs> and we still continue to investigate. Let's begin this battle of logic between two kindred spirits. We can this just man talk. talks like a 4chan user. Oh, don't ruin him for me. Wow, I... Listen, I feel bad. I gotta I, go. I was, I was actually, I was also popping popcorn. I didn't think Lang was coming back so quick, so I was making popcorn. I gotta go get it super quick. You have my thanks. However, I won't go easy on you. <laughs> I'll definitely catch the criminal who murdered Lang. And I won't let you get in my way. Yes, I wouldn't have it any other Huang. <laughs> Let me show you the truth that this wolf has sunk his fangs into. Ah, I see you're a man of culture as well. Listen up. That woman I can't see with the president on top of the Grand Tower. <laughs> Two nights ago, she pushed the president off the roof and he fell into his film lot. At the time, there was no one else on the rooftop aside from those two. There's no room for doubt that woman murdered the president. <laughs> it was just the two of them alone on the rooftop. No bodyguards. Where the fuck were the bodyguards the last two days? Yeah, I confirmed it with those bodyguards over there, and they didn't know about it either. Yes, <laughs> man. <laughs> that seems like a time a to pop a cold. Drink another job. <laughs> I must have uh, had something secret to talk about. Huh? <laughs> Huang and Judge Courtney, did those two have some kind of connection? Apparently, he had an arrangement with the owner of the tower. He requested the entrance to the viewing platform be restricted so that he could be alone. Ooh, well, they had a day. Yeah, I did know. Well, it's not like the owner could turn down a request from the president. Does that mean the last person to see the presidente was? Exactly. Courtney, you mean? It's gotta be her. I love mm -hmm. exactly. Courtney, you mean? Is like, that we're her on the name? same thing. <laughs> yeah. boob. Agent Legoland's reasoning is certainly sound. However, he has overlooked one major thing, and that's where I must strike. Rebutal. <laughs> Listen up. Now that woman met with the president two nights ago. She pushed the president off the roof, and he fell onto this film lot. Two nights ago, but but that's not. Yeah, that's not, it's not yesterday. That's not yesterday. Yeah, I think that's the contradiction. I just don't know where that is. Um, is it in the hoofs being, uh, not being there the day before? Oh, the monster footprints are not visible. NOR IS THERE A DEAD BODY! Thanks, Penny Nichols. <laughs> she long legend of Zelda. For the Interpol agent with the highest arrest rate to have fallen so low. Being real <laughs> shitty Please considering- Please me, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a real rough time. This is a commemorative photo taken by the staff at Global Studios. All three of them. Everyone's got such great smiles. Too bad everything's gonna go wrong. <laughs> Someone in chat, thanks, punk. <laughs> <laughs> this photo was taken yesterday. What? If Judge Courtney had murdered the president two days ago, then his body should have been there when this photo was taken. Ow, woo. <coughs> Perhaps you, <laughs> perhaps you should have listened a bit more carefully to those involved in the case. Questioning witnesses was one of the basic fundamentals of an investigation, is it not? I've captured Mr. Edgeworth's great smile. No, not really this again. You do look most alive when you're quartering your opponent like a cat and a rat. <laughs> uh, just as I expected. 
It's been a while since I felt like this. Agent Lego, my ego. Haven't you been a little hasty in your reasoning? <laughs> I don't need your advice. <laughs> Loser Z says. Oh no! Nope. You already used that one in the last game. We're carrying over, Did I? baby. Yeah. It has been three years, and I hate this game. <laughs> Not so I three don't... years. It has felt like it. It certainly wasn't yesterday. Uh, La Tino says, <laughs> <laughs> "My anger towards the woman who killed the president cannot be suppressed." I too wish to capture the culprit. However, if I get cl close to her, she's gonna bake like a lasagna. <laughs> there is no what? doubt that the body appeared here last <laughs> night. Therefore, the president could not have fallen to his death. Yup, he was crushed by the monster head. That's rootin' tootin' right. The crime occurred here at the film lot, not on the rooftop of the Grand Tower. So, that's what you think? Yep. Still, I don't intend to stray from my logic either. Well, shit. And it's not logic, but it's not logic! What? I've decided that this is true, therefore it's logic. However, he could not have fallen to his death two nights ago. This photo, what, uh, yeah, shit, I'm sorry. Sometimes I zone out just to read things. Did, is that dumb? <laughs> are we still here? <laughs> two nights just ago, Courtney, Courtney pushed the president off the roof and killed him. Afterwards, she snuck into the film lot to hide the body. Why would she do that? <laughs> Wouldn't it be easy to hide a body in a costume or behind his equipment? She didn't, though. <laughs> uh, what if she <laughs> forgot? Oh, dupes. Once we search this area, we'll know where she hid the body. <laughs> it's <laughs> right there! <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately! <laughs> Unfortunately! There is no need for a search! What did you say? <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> this piece of evidence. <laughs> what? This piece of evidence proves that Judge Courtney could not have hidden the body. It's the combination <laughs> lock. It's everything, is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, I'm like. Li Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Marissa, genuinely. I would just be, like, <laughs> floundering at how wildly insane this game is. <laughs> oh, my God. The chain on the back entrance was only cut last night. What? I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Judge Courtney could not have entered the film lot two nights ago. Ah, yeah! But the president could only have fallen two nights ago. Why are you so insistent that the crime occurred two days ago? Because it might mean I'm wrong. <laughs> because there's still more to the security camera footage. Show me that first, then! <laughs> no! I want to be right. Don't take this from me! The photo was recorded 10, 20 minutes after the president went up to the roof with that woman! That woman! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> that woman! She came back down the elevator alone like a wolf like me! After that, there was no sign of the president getting on the elevator at all. There's no other way for the president to get down without using an elevator. Is there? Fuck! There are stairs! Okay! Besides getting pushed off the roof by the woman, that is. Well, there's that hidden lift from there's the top a... floor. Okay. Stop there's it! There's a trap door. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Fireplace! I, I can't stand this game's series insistence on just being like, actually, there's more that I haven't shown you. It's just like, just- Actually, I'm just gonna make just, shit just, up. <sighs> like, I get it when it's in court and you're fighting a prosecutor. It's their job to get a verdict. It makes no sense when it's someone's just like, I've decided on this nonsense. Do you have any way to back that up? No, I do not. <laughs> the president never came down from the rooftop. That's right. The security camera is always watching the entrance of the elevator. 
It was specifically set up to record anyone who entered or exited the roof. Essentially, the camera created a locked room, one which the president vanished from. Wait, if that's true, why didn't we have that footage in the last case? Yeah. Uh... A locked room, I see. This is quite an unfavorable piece of evidence for Judge Courtney. Security camera photo data updated in my organizer. <laughs> A rooftop escape, that is a difficult feat. So even the Yatagarasu can't just fly through the sky. That's right, I still need more training to be able to pull that off. Are you sure, Yogsa? <laughs> Are you sh <laughs> Fuck, I can do the Master Yi voice. Are you saying you're going to train yourself to fly? <laughs> That's bullshit. God, you're still talking to me after this horse shit? Alright. If I, I had a choice, it. I wouldn't be. That woman, she came back down on the elevator alone. <laughs> After that, you, there was you no sign of the it. I don't know, man. I'm just here. <laughs> I'm on my lunch break. <laughs> Good popcorn. <laughs> hey, Vsauce, Michael here. And there is no way for him to get down from the elevator. Or was there? <laughs> Just to be sure, the camera didn't have any blind spots or malfunctions, right? You think I'd make a mistake like that? Are you mocking my investigation? No, it's just you for some reason started arguing without telling me about this piece of evidence, so I figured I should get the whole story this time. <laughs> no, okay, 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 boy, here's the steak. <laughs> it's simply my nature. <laughs> he just pulls a raw steak out of his coat pocket. Why do you have that? This suit jacket was white before I started filling it with steak. <laughs> oh, these are for gumshoe. <laughs> At any rate, this footage can be trusted. I I'm sure of that. The president took the elevator on the way up with that woman, but he never came back down. Looks um, at the body, contrary to what you just said. Understood. While I reserve judgment on your logic, I shall trust in your investigation. Oh, is that how it is? Do what you want. It won't change a thing. There is, I don't... And if there were, in fact, some other way besides the elevator? From the roof of a 50-story building? <laughs> That's ridiculous! But what if they had a paraglider? Without the elevator, there's no way to go down, let alone get off the viewing platform. You'll need something better than that to break my logic. A way to get off of the rooftop viewing platform without using the elevator. How about it, Mr. Prosecutor? Do you understand now? There is no reason for the president to be lying, sprawled out on the pavement there. I don't... Sorry, do I have an item that would... I don't have uh, anything. Don't you have the tower? Does it... Maybe... No. There's a secret entrance. Yeah. You weren't here for the last case, ha ha. Tap tap. As a matter of fact, there was one. A hidden route, that is. A way down without using the elevator? You better not be... There's no need for that. <laughs> it's quite simple. The president just needed to know about the existence of the hidden 51st floor. The 51st floor? This building has a f It's accessible through a s <laughs> Using that route, it would be possible to leave the rooftop without using the elevator. Hidden room? Secret hatch? How could the president have even known about that? I don't fucking know. Someone told him. I want- I wonder? I don't know the answer myself. I'm merely raising a possibility. In the first place. What's this all about, this hidden 51st floor? Sounds like something that ninja girl over there would love to get into. He called me a ninja! Yeah. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> For Kay, that place only holds bad memories, after all. The 51st Actually, floor- Actually, none! None! <laughs> Zero! <laughs> Zip tight! The 51st floor was a secret storeroom for the Black Market Auction. Its true purpose was only exposed yesterday. Black Market Auction? You... You aren't suggesting the president was involved in something like that, are you? 
I have no proof. However, the possibility exists, does it not? Hmm. You dumb. Cal! Calcifer! Find me in the future! <laughs> Sorry, it's my phone. Impossible! The president would never... He would never be involved in a black market auction. W what's this? Oh, a nickel. <laughs> penny nickel! Penny nickel! Oh, hey. <laughs> if you're that wasn't a penny me, here yesterday. <laughs> I'll tear you to pieces. His That's eyebrows... Bad. I'm reading my down. Hello, police? His, his eyebrows connect to his hair. Yeah! What, don't yours? <laughs> no. <laughs> she ran away. <clears throat> you don't have any idea. The amount of respect that man has earned from his country's people. I see. Pop. 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 <laughs> We have seen the president's <laughs> true colors. God, you sound like a fucking Majora's Mask NPC! However, <laughs> I love that specifically and only for that word, you pronounce it Majora. It's just very funny I, to me every time. I don't know. Um, however, the people of Zheng Fa remain in the dark. Marjoram. Should I inform Agent... Scrolling. Scrolling. <laughs> Lilac of the president's true nature. No, telling him now would only further cloud his judgment. I understand. Agent Lack just lack of an item. Please calm down. We spoke out of line. I apologize. <laughs> Sorry, my emotions got the best of me. And Kay, how long do you plan on hiding? You can come out now. Get the body out of your mouth. It, it's fine. My anger is directed towards the president's killer. I'm loud. Oh, right. <laughs> I did it. My I anger, did. my my anger is changing course now. <laughs> Pulls out a gun. <laughs> What's it to you? Ah, oh, don't be like that. I got some good news for you. I reckon. What? The Presidente ain't never passed through the 51st floor. He can count on me. A sentence nobody ever believed once. I was in the storeroom myself and I saw it with my very own eyes that were closed for most of it because I was a fucking coward hiding away. That's yeah, right. Yeah, didn't you pass out? She snuck Shut into up. the storeroom that day. Oh, good. Lotta's testimony. <laughs> Great. Wow, this is useless. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. What is it? I have some new useless evidence. I don't intend to give the culprit a single step of leeway. No one's seen the president since he met with Courtney two days ago. That doesn't change the fact the body wasn't here yesterday. If he were pushed off two days ago, it would be odd that he wasn't found until yesterday. He's very, very light, so it takes him a long time to fall from a building. <laughs> I doubt a fall from a roof would take a whole day. I'll admit he there were hanging few... under the side with suction cups. <laughs> I'll admit there are a few things I still haven't figured out. <laughs> okay. Regardless, there is one thing I'm certain of. There is? What exactly occurred here last night? I'm certain we'll have to look into that in order to uncover the truth. Wow! Oh, you figure that out all by yourself? Could yeah. only have a beard last night, right? Because they weren't here yesterday. No, they weren't. Agent Lakitu, we'd like to bring the body in for... Wang, it's in your hands. Make sure you show the proper respect. Chomp. Chomp. I have Finished. a name. I also no, have one more visiting. thing to report. What is him? We found some footprints near the body. I read yeah, that no as shit. on the body. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you left within the area, it looks like a monster's footprint. There were human footprints within the monster's footprint. 
What kind of footprints? Smaller <laughs> monsters! <laughs> Sir, they were the footprints of a child about the size of an elementary school student. What? <laughs> Punk! Huh? Elementary <laughs> school. Oh! I'll admit it! <laughs> I did it! Who was that? Yes, very tiny feet! Um, Miss Nichols! I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please excuse my rudeness. <laughs> is there something you want to say? What is she so scared of? I can't put one and one together. I'm worried <laughs> that you'll think poorly of me, but... Please let me testify something. It's really important. You mean talking? Um, it, you don't need to testify. We're just talking. We're not in court. I'm not a prosecutor. That's not something you need to be I so worried do about. To what is you. it? Last night, I, I oh, actually but that was last came night. here. Or was it yesterday? <laughs> what? Uh, Why did you come here? Never should have come here. Well, to kill the president. Well, I mean, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. I got a little worried, so I stopped by. God, what if I was about? if I was writing an Ace Attorney game, I would for sure have like a case where there's like a mini case right in front of it where it like starts and you do maybe one investigation segment and then the killer just slips up immediately and confesses by accident and then you don't deal with that case. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> to check up on John. John. You mean John Marsh? As I thought. Yes, uh, last night, um, John stayed here late in order to practice by himself. You let a child wow. run around a movie lot unsupervised? He by himself? He's wow, got milk. Wow, that's really dangerous. Well, this movie is the first time he's starring as a lead role, <clears throat> so... I'm sure he wants to do his best. She must have witnessed something last night. When was this? Yesterday! Last night. Last night. <laughs> <laughs> If I remember correctly, it was a little past 10 p.m. It looked like it was gonna rain, so I was getting worried, so I came to check up on him. I like how you're progressively oh sounding here? more and more drunk. As yeah. Well, I've got four. Ah, uh, you know, I've just been drinking out of the job. Every, days seem to blend together some, for me. Uh, I just. Some water I ended up gathering I... in these monster footprint puddles, so I gotta drink them all up, and I'm enjoying the amoebic dysentery I picked up. Well, I am... Um... <laughs> didn't even realize that was a real line because I was looking at you. You saw something? The president's dead body was here! <laughs> yes! John was practicing by himself. And right above his head, I saw a long, long neck. A neck? Yes. Its skin was really scaly. Oh my right. God. It was like the neck of a dinosaur. I'm sorry, are you that fucking stupid? Uh, we've established that Mozilla is a cow. <laughs> that is correct. Whoa, there. That is, 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 just get it over <clears throat> with. Good, 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 good already. Last time I went hurting, uh, hurting fuck man. <laughs> God dang a what? So this time it's Gordy! That's I'm right, dying. I was really surprised. After all, John is the boy who can communicate with Mozilla. Yeah, that's what? right. Them horns of his lets him hear what the monster's saying, right? You what? fucking heard me. Even so, he was looking up at Gordy's face and he was talking to it. It's it was the like they cranes. were friends. Doesn't that sound weird? Savvy, what are you talking about? It couldn't <laughs> possibly be the crane. You said it, sister! Just, it's is, all stupid! The, the, that little boy's a traitor! Seems she's got in reality. I'm just skipping dialogue because this is all fucking stupid! <laughs> hey, Missy, did you really see that? Yes, and I, I was, was sober. I was so drunk, I could have done anything. I was so shocked, I immediately ran home and left the child by himself. I don't know how to eloquently make this joke, but I wanted to make the joke of, I'm so drunk that X, and my brain decided that the way to make that joke was, normally, see these freckles? They're not actually freckles. I'm hollow, and these are glass windows, and right now they're brown because I'm filled with beer. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, that is so much. All right, much. you guys. I'm gonna need you to go home. That's. <laughs> I'm, I'm already here. <laughs> Good. Keep going. What do you make of this, Mr. Prosecutor? Has another monster taken the stage? I'm. Um, I'm just. No, uh, it's Gordy the Crane. Just gonna feel your uh, little wool right there. It's very soft. <laughs> Got that? T t tickle, tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Agent. Nice. Lel. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, Lel. <laughs> Stop it! I couldn't care less about the monsters. However, it looks like who... I'm losing it, man. <laughs> it looks like who we need to talk to next has been decided now, hasn't it? <laughs> Stop John it. John Marsh. He was here last night. Coochie, coochie. It's very <laughs> likely he saw something, isn't it? What if I was gonna say? What if Lugnut sees us? I'm not in this case. <laughs> John Marsh, we've got some questions for you. Where is he? He's not here. <laughs> um, John kind of left a while ago. He was here yesterday. That was, do you know what that was? That was a, we are going to beat you to death gift. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he run off to? He might have just gone back home. <laughs> Sorry. We are going to beat you to death. <laughs> They find him and they just fucking kill him. Or he may have run away. I need you to overthink things. Thank you so much. He's still a child. I can't imagine he could have murdered the president by himself. Oh, I murdered alone. plenty of people when I was just a toddler. Shut up, okay. <laughs> Maybe that monster helped them. Wait, the Yada Garage doesn't kill. I wasn't the Yadagrasu yet. Shit, you got me. The coppers, arrest me. That boy can summon a monster to his aid, right? What the That's fuck just are a you power talking? Persona! Very funny. <clears throat> I'm not saying that kid's definitely the culprit, but he's super the culprit. But right now, he's the most prominent witness we have, so we'll need to find that brat. <laughs> We are hoping oh, for this failing Mr. Edgeworth. Gummy! Oh, I gotta turn you back on. Yeah, Hold hang on. on. Here, eat these. No, he ran away! <laughs> ran away! What is the detective doing? It doesn't matter. It's not like I can rely on this country's police anyways. Agent Lem Agent Lemeray, comma Huey. Do you wait, fuck. Lafferay, comma Huey. The Lemerays are the things he uh, who can no one gives a shit. Yeah. Do you intend to continue investigating by yourself? Yeah, that's right. You got a problem with that? No. Thank you. That's right. But you know, being a lone wolf isn't all that bad. You don't have to worry about your subordinates or partners. All you need are your fangs. This Simple, character right? This doesn't seem right. Subordinates and partners? Well then, I'll be seeing you too. Your car breaking sound as it hits it. Things are getting interesting. That's a word. I reckon I'm about to get a real busy myself. After all, I got me a pair of monsters to hunt. I'm definitely getting my hands on this scoop. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Things have gotten pretty crazy, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> haven't they? Indeed. Sorry, I, I'm sitting in a way where my knee was between me and my mouse, and I was just like, like a fat. Emperor trying to go e <laughs> e and reach it. Indeed, there's the footprints of Muzilla and now the shadow of Gordy. It's almost exactly like the movie. How about we go monster hunting too? Well, 
<clears throat> Isn't that... We have to make sure our weapons are sharp and we have the proper meal. Isn't that what a Lang's men? <clears throat> uh, who? <laughs> Isn't that what a Lang's <laughs> Lamprey. Siv, that sound was a glorious level of what the fuck. <laughs> it just happened. He's one of Lunt. Agent Loose Cannon's subordinates. We met him during another case. Excuse me. Oh, Prosecutor Edgeworth. It has been a while. Oh, hang on. You got, got a little something. There's a, there's a pile of gravel in your mouth. Let me just uh, grab <clears> that and... <throat> That's one of Gummy's snacks. Don't take those. Shouldn't you be following Mr. Lazybones? Oh. <coughs> Agent Lang. She who, who is no longer my boss. Who? who? Agent Blacky Two. She who no, we did is no that longer one. my boss. We Agent <laughs> Agent L Death Note. <laughs> she who <laughs> is no longer my boss. What exactly Ball happened? Clap. Do you remember the incident from one month ago? Yes, I'm great at remembering. That was Yatagarasu a month ago? The Yatagarasu incident we'd been involved with. What a fucking nightmare. Agent Lanyard made a major mistake back then. He almost aided and abetted a dangerous criminal. Certainly. It had come quite close to that at the time. Shifu took responsibility for what happened. And our team was disbanded. Disbanded? So, that's what Agent Lonely, I'm so lonely, was talking about when he said he had to become a lone wolf. <laughs> then, why are you here? That's, well, it was a little worried about, I was a little worried about Shifu. It seems that even now, he's still chasing after them. The ghosts of 12 years past. The ghosts of 12 years past? What are you... I'm sorry. I've already said too much. If you'll excuse me... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking zoomed. The dude in the taxi is like, What was that all about, huh? <laughs> hey, bada bing, who needs a ride? <laughs> <laughs> These ghosts Agent Litterbox is chasing after. Do they also have something to do with this case? Who could say? Looks like everyone's left now. So what do we do now? Denny's? Miss Hart is going <laughs> after the monsters. Sizzless. And Agent Lycanthrope is going after John. You already did that one. No, we didn't. Totally did. I'm almost certain we didn't. <laughs> we it, today? No. Then no, we didn't. We should also try approaching this case from a different angle. What angle would that be? We should listen to what Judge Courtney has to say. I don't want to listen to that. I'm the murderer. <laughs> ah, that's right. If I'm not mistaken, Miss Courtney is, um... The murderer. On her way to jail? Well then, I shall take my leave here. I will be presiding over Patricia Rowland's trial. I don't know who that is. She said she had a trial coming up? Indeed. Let's head to the courthouse as well. That's me. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. <laughs> to be contained. Wow, so much happened. Yeah, this is a real rip snorter of a case. Wow. I'm a a real whoop dinger. Yeah, put the edge in my seat. A real corn snarcher. <laughs> a real dick snatcher. A real dick gumshoe. You know, I've been thinking about changing my name from the Yadagarasu to the Dick Snatcher. What do you think? I wish you wouldn't talk to me. I can carry around a pair of scissors? <laughs> Court is now in session. Is the defense ready? Oh, of course, Your snatcher. Honor. <laughs> of course, Your Honor. We can begin dick snatching whenever you want. So I I've got a quiver for him. him. Your Again. Honor, can I kill him? Again, I don't have any actual non-meta reason to think this, but by Ace Attorney rules, Ray is the murderer in this case. Hmm. Hmm. The prosecution has been ready from the start, Your Honor. Oh, well, excuse me. 
Jill Crane, the attorney in charge of the defense, has passed on from this world. Furthermore, Sebastian de Best, the prosecutor in charge, has disappeared. And so, Francisca and Mr. Shields have taken over their duties. Just imagine Sebastian underneath a fucking bridge with a little tin can. <laughs> Spare change! Spare change! <laughs> you mean what? You could just put it in my house, shaking the can. <laughs> Before we begin, I would like to apologize for the delay of today's trial. As the crime took place in the prison, a place where justice is normally administered, <laughs> and the def <laughs> is it? And the defendant <laughs> was the warden of the prison, further oh. exacerbating the situation. Okay, wow. it's the bad guy from the second case. Mm. Additional time was specially arranged to investigate and prepare for the trial. In addition, the, the defense attorney in charge of the case, Jill Crane, has recently passed away. That is not a flattering portrait. Nope. Uh. Due to these circumstances, the trial was further delayed. Mr. Shields, Miss Von Karma, at this time, I'd like to give you my gratitude for taking up this responsibility on short notice. I guess this is the last job Courtney Pye's friend left behind for us, huh? Well... Uncle Ray's more than happy to help out. Although having said that, I only had enough time to skim through the case files. Just like Why an American defense attorney. <laughs> is this the Dick Snatcher case? Are you okay on your head? <laughs> oh, Every case is the Dick Snatcher case when Uncle Ray's involved. <laughs> Hold on. I got a dick to snatch right now. I will... I just want to kill you. <laughs> what kind of pro I'm too quick. I won't allow any more delays in this trial while we wait for that foolish man to return. Spear change! <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna fuck me up every time, man. <laughs> I've received evidence just now. There should be no problem continuing the trial. You have my thanks. Even though neither of you know what the fuck is going on, I hereby call the defendant Patricia Rowland to the stand. The wheel in a dead body in a bag. <laughs> this case sucked, but I did like this def uh, this character. Hmm. <clears throat> now then, will the prosecution please give us their opening statement? Very well, Your Honor, the defendant. Hold it! Please wait, Your Honor. I don't remember if we had a voice for her. It what was is it? basically that, yeah. Well, there's something I'd like you to fill me in on. Just what, exactly, am I doing in a place like this? Did someone say fill me in? <laughs> then, perhaps you would do well to listen to the opening statement. <laughs> so if I listen to it, I'll get it, huh? Okay then, let's hear it. That was the plan from the start. Now, if you would kindly shut up and listen. That's just the writing philosophy for this entire game, really. <laughs> incident occurred in the detention center, and Sorry. the prison warden Roland. Ah! <laughs> is in charge of the victim is Horace Knightley, who was being held in the detention center. The prosecution is certain that this woman here is the culprit. This knife, the murder weapon, the, the decisive ev Ah? Miss Von Karma, is something wrong? The knife is a key! That's impossible. <laughs> the evidence is... What's wrong with the evidence, Franny Pie? The evidence? The knife is gone. The chisel with Zogan's bell attached to it is missing too. Wh what I don't get Rebel. it. Rebel. Order! Order! Prosecutor Von Karma, what is the meaning of this? I... I don't understand it either, Your Honor. If there's no evidence, then I suppose there's not much reason for me to be here. Some prosecutor can't even hold on to one little piece of evidence. What a dunce. I would love I... it if this lady was randomly the final boss. I only received everything that the previous prosecutor had. <sighs> It appears the culprit is that pampered prosecutor, the boy blender. <clears throat> hey, Courtney Pie. What is it? And don't call me that. Your Honor, considering our predicament, what say we go get some pie? What say we postpone the trial? <laughs> I wouldn't and do mind that? eating some pie. The defense's proposal is overruled. What? Courtney Pie? I know, right? 
It would be troubling for me if this trial were to be delayed any further. I just want everyone to know that I'm innocent as soon as possible. Objection! Innocent! I've had more than enough of your foolish- Objection! And besides, you don't have any evidence, right? I recall a certain saying. In court, evidence is everything, wasn't it? Since there's no evidence, that would make me innocent. Isn't that right, Your Honor? That is correct. That is <laughs> fucking insane. That is actually just bullshit. What? What? I don't want my defendant acquitted. The prosecution has not produced sufficient evidence to prove the defendant guilty. As such, I hereby find what? the defendant... Sure, Roland. What? Hold your horses, Pie. You can't just declare her innocent <laughs> out of a sudden. Pie? Pinkie Pie? Not is something <laughs> the matter? I'll fuck you guys up if you start that again. For the defense to object to a not guilty verdict. Well, I mean, even you must know that the warden over there is guilty, right? Yeah, <laughs> e everyone, every single person, it, like, presiding in and around this trial is a conflict of interest. <laughs> you were there of us when we found the murder weapon. I, I don't know fact, what my character's damage is. Mr. Shields. A judge must remain impartial when handing down a verdict. Especially well, if I- doing a shitty job of it. Especially if I decide to cancel a fucking hearing and immediately declare someone innocent. That is why I cannot allow for myself to get caught up in my own personal feelings. The person who was present when the murder weapon was discovered. The entire chat is just caps lock anger. It's great. And the judge sitting before you now are two completely different people. You're kidding, right? I can only hand down a verdict based upon the evidence that was presented. I'm fuming. Just this viciously angry. <laughs> well, it's not here right now, but a few minutes. That's all I need. I'll find the evidence and return to court without fail. Hmm, no, innocent. <laughs> Wait, the hold on. The prosecution requests a brief recess, Your Honor. Hold on, isn't the premise of this game that people are guilty until proven innocent like the exact opposite of what she's trying to do? I don't know. <laughs> the defense would also like a recess, Your Honor, because this is complete horseshit. Pie. Honk. <laughs> I understand. I shall grant your request. Well, Justine, darling, aren't you wishy-washy today? And yesterday? In fact, your character really is just a ping-pong ball. This court will now adjourn for a 15-minute recess, during which the prosecution and the defense shall prepare for the resumption of the trial. Understood, Your Honor. Check that you have your fucking evidence before you stand at my stand again. Phew, that was a <laughs> close one, <laughs> as they say, air quotes. Court is now adjourned. Man, I could really do with some pie in my mouth right this fucking second. <laughs> I'm lost. Jail. Where are we? Didn't we find us together? The evidence? Yes, we certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, Gumshoe ate it. Oh my god, and the fucking circus was in this game, too. <laughs> It seems like so long ago that is above. It was o over a year at this point. What's the matter, detective? It looks like the metal detective is reacting to this alligator. <laughs> I forgot Girl, how why? dumb this game was. <laughs> really? Why? Of course. That's why the metal detector reacted. Judge Courtney, I'd like you to take a look at this. The chisel. Just take a look at this. Wasn't that just the fake murder weapon? Dogen hid this chisel inside his dog's mouth. This is huh? an alligator. <laughs> very real That's a strange dog. Was hidden in very much the same way. <laughs> the real murder weapon is in the pond inside the alligator. I wonder if that was an animal rights violation as well. Probably gumshoe. Who? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I forgot about this guy. Miss Barry and Mr. Keys. 
Did you come to attend the trial? Did was I her, actually? You yeah. were her because I was Kay and Regina. Okay. And, uh, you swooped in on Regina pretty quick, I, I remember. <laughs> well, I'll do my best. Oh, no, wait. I, no, wait. I, fuck, I started I'm, because I wanted to do that Valley Girl accent. Oh, is okay. she Valley Girl? Do you want to? I don't give a shit. Sure. <laughs> I came because I heard there's a really fun show around here. So where is it? Okay, the Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> and this was Siv. Uh, actually, it was um, Marissa. Really? I do not know this character. No, it was <laughs> it wasn't Marissa. It was um. What should it be, Marissa? Now it can be Marissa. Uh, Marissa now. It was um. Oh my god, I'm so fucking out of it today. Fuck. Uh, yeah, sed uh, seduce me. <laughs> It was like a oh, stream voice. Yeah, it was Michaela. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you do whatever you think for this guy. Yeah. Mm, the trial for the case I got caught up in was supposed to have already started, but... Mm, uh, practice ran a little late. <laughs> I believe it was somewhere around here, wasn't it? Actually, two key pieces of evidence have gone missing. The chisel and the knife. The trial is in recess now, sort of like an intermission. Like a break? Almost like, you know, a take five. I've never heard of such a thing. What's that supposed to mean? It's like a break. Like an intermission? <laughs> ah -ha -ha. Looks like Simon's gonna get arrested again. <laughs> what the fuck? No, no way, I can't. I can't go back to jail. It's oh. <laughs> kinda fucked up. Someone just punched K. Huh? <laughs> To think that I would be humiliated like this! You are probably right. And here comes another noisy individual. <clears throat> now, now, pie. I'll kill you. Let's just take a moment and have some pie. Maybe you could put down that whip of yours. I've got a whole pie here. That foolish prosecutor when I get my hands on him. Mm. My whip is going to give him my thrashing of a lifetime! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, why don't you try talking to her? Yare, yare. Maybe she'll kill you and I can take your organs. <laughs> Good luck with Good that. Job. On that I note... I have, I have my name written on those. I guess I should probably hear what she has to say. Please listen to what I have to say. <laughs> no. Miles, come back! Miles! Please? <laughs> Funny joke. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this game's movement system is a fucking travesty. <laughs> I want to look at you, though. Oh, if it isn't former prosecutor Miles Edgeworth. Francisco. I always fuck up saying his name when I'm doing her accent. Fuck. Those who have abandoned the past of a prosecutor do not belong here. Now, be a good boy and go home. Figure out what you want to do with your life. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> you, you doing all right there, Miles? Eh. Trying to get those miles in? Eh. <laughs> Francisca, I never expected you to end up talking over the prosecution, taking over the prosecution for this case. I frequently expect you to end up talking over people. Hmm. The bodyguard of the president of Zheng Fa, Horace Knightley, was murdered. What? The defendant is the former warden of the prison, Patricia Rowland. What? Wait, I'm just trying to think of what the pun on her name is. Patricia, I think it's supposed to be like... P patrol, maybe? Patrolling? Patrol? Yeah, maybe, maybe. The knife she used as a murder weapon had been prepared as evidence. However, the murder weapon has disappeared without a trace. Not only did they abandon his own case, but he also made me look like a fool. Are we talking about Phoenix? Ugh. No. 
The next time I see that foolish fool of a prosecutor, I'll whip some backbone into him. I don't mind if you whip some backbone into him, but stop whipping innocent bystanders. Still, what are you going to do, Francisca? The recess is only 15 minutes, and a typical investigation session in this game takes much longer than that. <laughs> You're always so calm and collected. Like an anchorman reading off a teleprompter. It makes me sick! Why? <laughs> I should probably stay classy and avoid a confrontation with her for now. Cool. Also, don't be silly. I have the teleprompter on the inside of my retinas. Hmm. Okay, looks like you've gotten your memories back. Ooh, uh, yup, I'm all better now. Damn, I heard Uncle you were Ray better. Was... <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ray was really worried, you know. Though that other K was pretty cute. Well then, now that you've recovered, oh, how, about a... <laughs> how about a hug for old time's sake? Nope. We need to focus on the trial right now. Yeah, things aren't looking good. <laughs> Looks like my dick snatched. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, dick we'll have snatched. to search for it. Everything's everything. gone. <laughs> Another added to the dick snatcher's quiver. <laughs> but we can interrupt the trial. Hmm. Uncle Ray's in a pickle. Speaking a of dickle, pickles. Pickle. Dickle pickle, fuck! If only there is someone who could find evidence for us. That look of expectation on your face says it all. Miles, you still don't have your prosecutor's badge, right? Wanna pretend to be a DA for an afternoon? Do you finally feel like following in your father's footsteps? Hmm. I simply... Your father's giant Mozilla footsteps? Hmm. I simply left it in someone else's care. It wasn't, I wasn't stripped of my badge. You, you were. Furthermore, right now I'm unable to follow in my father's footsteps. I see. Well, there's no need to rush your decisions. <laughs> he turned himself into a pickle. Funniest <laughs> shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Miles <laughs> turned himself into a pickle. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Take all the time you need to determine the path you want to follow. In any case, the door's always open for you at entry floor offices. Mr. Shields! <laughs> If only there is someone who could go searching for the evidence for us. Gum, shoo. Gum, shoo. Gum, shoo. Very uh, well, shoo. I'll go look uh, for them. Shoo. Oh, Miles, you do that for us? Of course. Finding the evidence within 15 minutes will not be an easy task. Well, if worse comes to worse, Uncle Ray and... Bye. <laughs> what? <laughs> Until we recover the evidence, we won't let her hurt and end verdict. Please do so, Francisca. Are you okay God, with this? I'm about that fucking ghost from that video game now. <laughs> Will knows what I'm talking about. Which one's this? Sorry. The fucking voice mod they had on that ghost character. Oh and, like, God. Yeah, yeah, the new um, uh, whatever. Yeah. Oof. Bad. You're asking me, Francisca <laughs> von Karma, to help you out. You'd better be off spending the rest of your life as an anchorman for the local news. <laughs> Miss von Karma! Jesus Christ, I'm gonna slap you! <laughs> this is an emergency. We could really use your cooperation. Hmm. I understand. As acting prosecutor, I, along with that attorney over there, shall continue this trial. Meanwhile, you, the former prosecutor, shall run around and look for the evidence. All for my sake. It's a job that suits you perfectly. I'm glad that you're on board. I'll help out too, because I really don't want to get arrested again. <laughs> this sounds like fun. Regina was a tag along too. <sighs> All right, that would be helpful. Now then, where should we begin? Oh, he's slipping into francophone mode. Hold on. Some more card gauge. Uh, <laughs> I think we should go find that person and hear what they have to say. Savvy, can you read the most? 
<laughs> the most recent thing in chat using that voice filter. Oh, shit. It's, uh, oh, a a <laughs> yeah, I've got it. I've got you. <laughs> he turned himself into a ghost. It's the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Who should we talk to in order to learn where the evidence went? Um. I don't fucking know. Uh. Yes. The person in charge of the evidence was Sebastian DeBest. Ah, uh, you mean that rookie prosecutor, right? Got it. I'll leave him to you. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> I'm out of here. Alrighty, time for Uncle Ray to have a strategy meeting with the opposing counsel. And by strategy meeting, I mean cake. And I mean pie? Oh, God! Miles Hedgeworth? You better not keep me waiting, lest you end up like your friend here. We're not friends. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, lest you end up like this scruffy man here, huh? Hi, hey, wait for me. <laughs> he goes to the door, you hear a gunshot. <laughs> now then, let's go help look for Sebastian as well. I oh, am you? here now. <laughs> How did she come in through this door? Ah, oh, it's that bitch! Ah, oh, it's that bitch. If it isn't that bitch, Edworth. I hope that all is well. Huh. All is not well? Just what was going on in that trial earlier? Okay, there's no need for that. But she's a bitch. Even though Anna's Courtney, she knows exactly who the cover is. She's, she's a, a bitch. bitch. Ba -da 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 house. What made you... Your dad? Iron, steel. Yeah. He bought me at a pawn shop, actually. Weed. You're adopted? Weed! In a court of law, the only thing that truly matters is evidence. Whatever my own feelings may be, it should not affect the verdict. Delay the trial, then! So, this is the judge persona of Justine Courtney we're seeing. Cold-blooded and heartless. It's fine if you think of me as such. Even as a judge, she's still this stubborn. Judge Courtney, there's just one thing I'd like to ask you. And what would that be? What's up? Two nights ago, <laughs> you went to the roof of the Grand <laughs> Tower. Why? <laughs> the roof, you say? You met with the president there, correct? The two of you were caught on the security camera. Is there some sort of problem with that? Today, the president's body was discovered. Very close to the Grand Tower. Oh, fuck. That's... Fuck indeed. <laughs> you understand now, don't you? You're a suspect. What happened between you and the President up upon the roof? Nothing. Upon we the merely roof. spoke for a few minutes. Once Why? our business was done, I headed straight home. Why'd you say I took it the like elevator that? back down alone. Indeed. That was shown on the security camera footage as well. What exactly did you and the President talk about? That... I cannot say. You should say. I see. <laughs> but girl, you should. However, I, don't I cannot want to tell offer you what to... to do, but like, you know. <laughs> I cannot uh... just maybe. That being the case, heh. I guess my only remaining option is to use that. She is definitely hiding something, and I'm going to draw it out of her. Tap tap. No. Time for some fucking mind chat. No. Two nights ago, <laughs> Judge Courtney met with President Huang. <laughs> no. It is true that I spoke with President Huang on the roof of the Grand Tower. I'm gonna go pee. Oh, <laughs> there it is. So if you could go build a house and you'd be done by the time we finished. We only discussed business. There's no need to tell you what was said. Hmm. Just like in the trial earlier, she won't reveal her personal feelings easily. When she's speaking as a judge, it would be better for me to wait and see what develops. Now then, I'll start by asking her what she talked about with the president. Logic chess. Begin. <laughs> what did you talk about? Could you tell me what you and the president talked about? Fucking no. Shit, that was my, my only- <laughs> <laughs> With the president was strictly business. 
And since it has nothing to do with you, I am not obligated to answer your question. Shit, she got us. <laughs> you, you right. Tell you what, guys. <laughs> I also, t I actually like do need to go at this point as well, so I'm just gonna leave you. To Sounds watch good. Chats. I'm, I'm pretty tired already because I'm kind of sick today. So I think after we clear this segment, I'm gonna do myself a favor and pause there. But I, I'm gonna get this out of the way because if I, if I leave this, and I have to come back to this, I'm not gonna come back to this game. <laughs> this really will be the final. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, well, it's been a great time. See you around, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, buddy. Even so, you certainly are a very busy person, aren't you? You're a member of the PIC and a judge as well. You even assist with the investigations. I am simply fulfilling the professional I'm, duties that have been assigned to me. I'm, I'm over here, Courtney. To, to no. Your, okay. Was your meeting with the president also one of the duties assigned to you as a judge? Yes, of course it was. I am one who lives for the lo for the law. I would never act outside of my professional duties. This morning you returned Kay's promise notebook to me. Was that this morning? Christ. I don't believe that all of your actions were simply done for the sake of your duties. Oh, thank God we killed one already. It's true. It seems I still retain some immature qualities. I wouldn't call it immature. It was your own personal kindness. Weren't you also distressed when you found out the president had passed away? Yes, it is very unfortunate. Why did he have to die? It seems that he was crushed by the head of a monster called the Mighty Muzilla. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Is what? that true? <laughs> you mean the president died at the temporary Muzilla film lot? Yes, that's right. I'm surprised that you know about Muzilla. Uh, yes. He's pretty underground. <laughs> I had heard about it from Sebastian. He told me that the movie was being filmed near the Grand Tower. She seems awfully shaken up about that. And I'm also curious about Sebastian, who went missing along with the evidence. She said she wouldn't talk about the President. However, I might be able to get her to reveal her secret through another line of questioning. Again, you're talking out loud, Edgeworth. She is flustered beyond normal. There must be um. some reason for it. Uh, Where is Prosecutor De Best? <laughs> Francisca. <laughs> Francisca may have taken over the prosecution in Sebastian's place. However, as long as he still possesses some of the evidence, the trial cannot proceed. I intend to carry out a fair trial. The evidence was stolen. <laughs> if the prosecution is unable to present evidence, the defendant <laughs> must be declared not guilty. I am a judge. I cannot allow my own personal feelings to get in the way. So you're saying you're not the least bit worried about Sebastian's whereabouts? Of course I, I am. I am worried about Sebastian as well, but... It's Sebastian. Yeah, <laughs> fuck him. You're worried about Sebastian as well? Wouldn't that mean that there is someone else you're worried about? <laughs> this is my investigating uh. voice. By any chance, whatever is have to do something. Uh. <laughs> That's impossible. I... I am a follower of the law. I will not be swayed by personal feelings. It may be true that those who stand in court have a duty to follow the law. However, we're not superheroes. You and I are only... You are only human. <laughs> it is impossible to completely ignore your own feelings and render an impartial judgment. We still here. Uh. I think this might be the fastest logic chess segment in the entire game so far, it actually. Is as you say. As I have to go to bed? Yeah. Ye I cannot yeah. hand down an impartial verdict. Judge Courtney, why don't you tell me the truth? Uh, I... Oh. Just, just what am I supposed to do? That's a new portrait that doesn't look very good. Okay. I actually hate that a lot the longer I look at it. Oh no, I bet that's abused. I bet it's not because nobody plays this game. For Judge Courtney to become this distraught. <laughs> we should find out exactly who she is searching for. Up until now, she has been wearing the mask of a judge. Now it looks like someone traced this portrait from an anti monitor. <laughs> this time I should be able to draw out her true feelings. 
Judge Courtney, tell me who you are searching for. My lips are sealed. That is not something I can talk about right now. Bitch, why? I don't have enough <laughs> clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Cool. <laughs> is the person you are searching for Sebastian? When Sebastian learned of his father's true colors, he went into hiding of his own free will. I am worried about him, but this may be a trial he needs to overcome on his own. Ow. Since he went into hiding of his own accord, he could return whenever he wanted to. Could it be the person you're searching for? He went into hiding, but really he just went home and like sat in his Spare room. Spare Jay! <laughs> <laughs> He's in hiding. <laughs> In regards to that, my lips are sealed. I am unable to talk about it right now. When I think about what might happen to that child if I talked... Mm. <laughs> that child? Could you tell me who you're referring to? Uh, uh, it's nothing! Uh, please pay it no mind. <laughs> the fucking say goodbye to my buns. They're really... Oh! <laughs> 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 Oh my god! So funny. Judge Courtney's expression has changed. It seems I have managed to uncover a clue! Judge Courtney! Let Did me try using that clue! Could it be you're searching for the child who has gone missing? Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Oh no. Veto! <laughs> Since you said it was a child, I presume they're of a young age, correct? I simply cannot answer any questions about him. That boy has nothing to do with you or the president's assassination. Please tell me Mook. Please tell me fucking Stink is your son. Yeah, yeah right. I don't have enough clues. I'm really... Looking for Muzilla. Are you searching for the mighty Muzilla? What? I don't have the time to play along with your jokes right now. It is not a joke! Just a moment ago, you were surprised to learn that the president had been crushed by a Muzilla, correct? That was... I was simply surprised by the president's cause of death. To think that he passed away at the temporary film lot of all places. From the way you're talking, it seems you have a problem with where he died. That's not true. It's just for the president to have passed away at a film lot, a place where dreams are made. What? I just thought it would be better if the movie's cast and crew remained unaware of the truth. What are you up to, Courtney? <laughs> I'm very sorry to say this. However, the movie's cast and crew are already aware of the president's death. I encountered a female staff member in John Marsh at the crime scene. No, uh, how could it have come to this? Oh, man. Stop doing that. Stop. It's really bad. <laughs> hmm. She seems to react strongly when it comes to the staff of the Mozilla film. This could be a useful crew. It's the heaving shoulders that really make it just the worst. Oh boy, are we gonna see a break from her? That might look questionable. Earlier, when Muzilla was brought up, it seemed to be a sensitive topic for you. Is that child you spoke of involved with the Muzilla movie? Uh, oh, oh, okay. How? How do you know that? You're usually so calm, yet you seem rather, um, distraught right now. <laughs> Please tell me. Who is that child? I understand. If you've come to know this much, I guess I'll have to kill you. Hmm. Clonk. You see, he is my son. <laughs> she lifts her giant bang and there's a cow horn underneath it. <laughs> ah! The child I'm searching for is a boy by the name of John Marsh. John? Why do you want to know his whereabouts? Well, that much I simply cannot say. <sighs> Judge okay. Courtney, didn't you say you were prepared for the worst? I refuse to act. <laughs> Even if you don't intend to talk, I am determined to expose the truth. That is my resolve. 
Okay. Why is she searching for John? Why? <laughs> Are you acquainted with John by any chance? He is a famous movie star. No, this is his first major role. I doubt there is anyone who doesn't know who he is. I actually hadn't heard of him until I met with him today. That just proves you have much to learn. You uncultured fuck. I okay. know everything about him. <laughs> My apologies. I seem to have lost my composure. You tend to lose your calm whenever the conversation turns to John, don't you? Uh, in any case, while I may know everything about John, it is a one-sided relationship. What is he that? seriously just a fangirl? I hope not. Yikes. Oh Weird. my goodness, John starts doing that horrible portrait. <laughs> yeah. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this lose. Everybody <laughs> disliked that. Actually, we're searching for John as well. Would you happen to have any idea where he might be? Well, I have this tracker. Why would you think that <laughs> I would know Why where he is? Why the fuck do you have a tracker? No reason. There's no connection between us. Mm. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this slide. <laughs> it's just bashing your head against different walls until one of them falls down. Could it be that you're a fan of John Marsh? Yes, yes. Uh, that's right. I am a fan of John Marsh, the famous child actor who has been called a prodigy. Hmm, believable. Continue. I knew his movie was being filmed in front of the Grand Tower, so the temporary film lot had been on my mind. I see. I suppose a fan would be curious about that. Did you know that John was at the temporary film lot? Yes, of course I did. He said they would be filming there all day today, and yet... It almost sounds as if John himself told you personally. I saw it on his Instagram! I doubt she would give his. Uh, I doubt he would give his schedule to a mere fan. That's true, isn't it? Uh, please don't pay any mind to that statement. No, I'm gonna pay it some mind. She made another <laughs> slip of the tongue. One day she'll make a tip of the tongue. She must be really worried about John. <laughs> so she has spoken with John. This could be a useful clue. Oh well, I don't know which one of these paths it is. Okay, it's the top one. No clicking, I have to fucking bow. <laughs> Let me try using that clue. I understand you're worried about him, but aren't you a bit too flustered? You told me earlier that you had spoken with John. Doesn't that prove that you are indeed acquainted with him? Oh. Mm. Mm. How could I have committed such an indiscretion? Screen cap. It appears that John and Judge Courtney are acquaintances, he said aloud again. This could be a vital clue! I don't know what kind of relationship you have with John, and I get more worried by the line. But you must, at the very least, be acquaintances. Eek! God, her right hand is so fucked up looking in that. Yeah, what is happening? Judge Courtney, won't you allow us to help you in your search for him? Help? No, that won't be allowed. Who won't allow it? The so-called goddess of law? The person who knows where that child is. Tap, tap. I see. Finally, I've connected all the pieces of the puzzle. The reason why you cannot easily talk about John, it was because someone kidnapped him! Isn't that right? Ah, so they were like, you know what worked well was the last case of the second game. Let's just redo that. We spent so long pressing if she even knew him, and somehow he jumped to he's been kidnapped? Judge Courtney. I would like to hear the truth from your own lips. Don't say my lips. <laughs> I understand. This time. 
I will truly be prepared for the worst. Five more chess It is pieces. just as you deduced someone has kidnapped John. Oh, as I thought! There was a kidnapping! Everyone! What? There was a kidnapping! Still, how is John's kidnapping related to you in any way? John and I are... Lovers? No. Mother and child. What? Yes, John is my mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. I was unable to learn much about the co Oh, what? I was unable to learn much about the conversation she had with the president, but I have learned of John's kidnapping. It was an unexpected result, but with that, it's checkmate. It's been 20 minutes. The trial is over. <laughs> what? John is Miss Courtney's son? No You're way. You're still here? I, I fell asleep, actually. Well, I mean, he's already so big. For him to be here. Yes, John is yeah, indeed my tall. son. Please look at this. Look at it, Snake. This scar proves I'm a mother. Shut it's up. a photo that was taken yesterday. This is a clipping from a magazine. It's an article about John. Do you always carry this around with you? Yes, I always keep it close by. It's like a charm to me. It seems the bond that they share is a strong one. However, are you absolutely certain that he's been kidnapped? Yes, I received a call from the kidnapper just before the trial started. What were their demands? They had only one demand. A not guilty verdict for Patricia Rowland. I see. So that's what happened. Since there's no evidence, it would make me innocent. Isn't that right, Your Honor? That is correct. The prosecution has not produced sufficient evidence to prove the defendant guilty. As such, I hereby find the defendant, Patricia Rowland. So, that's why you were going to deliver a not guilty verdict earlier. I am not qualified to be a judge. A judge must be able to remain impartial and composed above all else. And yet, despite this, in the trial just now, I... I was about to hand down a verdict that was led solely by my heart. Judge Courtney. Right. I'm to make a fucky-wucky. <laughs> the goddess of law must be furious with me. But I simply couldn't do it. I couldn't hand down a fair verdict. If it meant I had to sacrifice my own son. I'm here too! <laughs> of course you can! Okay, you're here. Sorry, I'm really tired. A real parent would never abandon their own child. If that makes the goddess of law angry, then maybe the goddess is the one who's wrong. The goddess is guilty. Guilty! Isn't that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Alright, so I've been meaning to sure. ask, what the fuck is the goddess of law? We keep talking about it like it's a thing. We're responsible for upholding the law, but at the same time, we are only human. Nobody would hand down a verdict that would sacrifice their own child. Thank you very much, Miss Faraday, Prosecutor Edgeworth. However, I cannot simply run away <laughs> from the courtroom. It's pretty easy, actually. Yeah, it's Gardy's! <laughs> this is where you've been! It appears it's time. Well... My Breaks own legs. <laughs> Miss Courtney! My father, he was a prosecutor. Cool, goodbye. <laughs> Your father? <laughs> and now, with all that has happened, it caught me thinking. <laughs> we gotta. <laughs> We go to our correspondent live at the scene. <laughs> Holy fuck. We we need to watch more Mau Mau. That yeah. was a good time. What if my father had been in the same position as you are right now? If a prosecutor was being coerced into obtaining a guilty verdict. I know. If my life were on the line, my father... Oh, shit. ...would definitely come to steal me back. He's dead. Steal you back. Miss Courtney, why don't you let us take care of it? <clears throat> what? We'll kill your son. I'm gonna go steal John back for you. 
It's the second Yaragarasu I, K Faraday, will give you my word. I don't think I've ever seen that K portrait before. No, me neither. Heh! So, the great thief Yatagarasu play- Heh! I don't, I don't know why, but like, heh in text to me never- Like, I could only read it as heh, like the least natural sounding. <laughs> <laughs> The great thief Yatagarasu plans to seal the truth, huh? That'll be a first. What say you, Judge Courtney? Will you place your trust in our young great thief? Oh, sounds like an awful idea, Prosecutor Edgeworth. And if it's all I'll right do with it. you, I wish to help as well, since it will be mm. a disaster if I don't. Thank you very much. I know that it's really not my place to ask this of you. But please, do whatever you can. Please save John. Sure! You got it! I'm <laughs> planning my escape. Oof. I'm so confident in this. Allow me to leave my cell phone with you. It's you made may. of treacle. You get a call from the kidnapper at some point. Look at this flip phone ass. You have my word. I will ensure the safe return of your phone. Oh, and your kid. <laughs> and I will do everything in my power to prolong the trial. But... Even then, at most, the trial can only last for about two more hours. Two hours, huh? So until 2 p.m., that's our time frame. I must return to the court. Miss Faraday, Prosecutor Edgeworth, I shall leave the rest to you. Oh, let me bow again. She looks less Bye. like she's bowing and more like she's doubling over from heartburn. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? One, two, three. Does... Hold up. Does this Edgeworth portrait have an extra finger? On Where? which hand? On the one on the right. No. Uh, one, no, just five. Oh, okay. I'm leaning back and this, uh, his like palm line in the middle of his hand looks like another finger bending inwards. <laughs> oh, okay. Please. <laughs> oh. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Heck. What the fuck? Okay, I thought you were Shit, cat. Shit, girl. We in it now. Shit, yeah, boy. Cause right now the great thing is, all right, go, go running. <laughs> is that so? In that case, we'd better begin our investigation post haste, if we hope to track down John. I'm Agent Lang. <laughs> ah, Ted, where'd you run off to? Bad. You might have just gone back home. That's right. Imagine if he was just at home playing Fortnite the whole time, and we're freaking out about nothing. Or he may have run away. I don't know he why, but we're just really, we're really, first floor. we're really throwing this case away <laughs> with our, just like, <laughs> we should probably begin our investigation from the front of the Grand Tower. Hey, hold it, Mr. Edgeworth. You're not the one in charge anymore. From here on out, this is a job for a great thief, which means I'm the leader now. If that's the case, then what am I supposed to do? You take a nap. No, well, I did it. Good night, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> I always loved the little kiss joke. It's so funny. <laughs> so I'm a thief's assistant now. All right, let's get going. Great thief Yadagrasu takes flight once again. I'm Aww. trying so hard to fly. <laughs> can't do it. I can't fly. Here we are, right where we started. <laughs> now, say it with me, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, say what? Even in the depths of night. Oh, come on, say the rest with me. And just why should I do that? Because the great thief, Yedagorasu, has arrived on the scene. And if we don't say the introduction, it just doesn't feel right. I have no intention of becoming a thief. Ah! Fine, then I'll do it myself. Even in the depths of night, with no other bird dares to take flight. What alone soars to shine the light of the righteousness of the world's flight. And that one is me, for I am the great thief, Fiona Grasso! 
Yes, Kay, huh? I know you are. I, on the other hand, am starting the investigation. You're no fun. <laughs> Chat, we have two hours, Kay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for fun. We only have until two o'clock. We need to begin making inquiries immediately. Oh, is that Will Powers? Ooh. Yeah, maybe. Yoopy, yoopy, yoop, 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 yoop. Oh, it is. the one in the Mozilla costume. Uh-huh. Oh, well. Long time no see, Mr. <laughs> Edgeworth. Oh, God, he went to the moon, huh? <laughs> oh, man, my, uh, hang on, my mouse battery just died. <laughs> oh, good. Be right back. <laughs> Will, Will, uh, Will Powers is a nice dude. I can't, I can't deny that is this portrait of him, but... Hello. <laughs> Jesus. Hi there. Yikes. Oh, Alright, no. be right back. I look like a Kachinka of Leoman. <laughs> yeah, he does. He really does. God, look at my chest hair. Why am I even wearing a sweater? That's I can just point. keep myself warm. Fuzzy, fuzzy. A fuzzy man. Edward starts petting his fur like he did to Lang's coat. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys don't like this interpretation. Yeah, <laughs> <Will Towers>. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else, what other voice I give him. I don't know his personality besides just. No, yeah, he's just like a put upon nice guy. All right. Y you're pretty much you're pretty much on 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 target. Stay on target. <laughs> Stay on target. <laughs> just the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> the love of God. <laughs> just the tip. <laughs> Please, God in heaven. No more. <laughs> yeah, someone in the chat says, is that the president's son? That was what I thought of the president the first time I saw him. I was like, is that that other dude? It's just Will Powers again? Mm, maybe. I don't know enough about this game or care enough to know. Yeah. Will Powers is from one of the games that I actually played. I know this fucking guy. He's yeah, he's your defendant in the first case about the steel samurai. He's he's a nice dude. You are This is Will Powers. He's an action star I met in a previous case. He also played the role of the steel samurai warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. It's been a long time. Pleased to meet you. I'm Kate Faraday, a great thief. Some stuff has happened, so now Mr. Edworth is my assistant. Nice to meet you, but a thief? <laughs> and Mr. Edgeworth is your assistant? Please, pay it no heed. I don't remember you sounding like this. <laughs> More importantly, I'd like to ask you some questions about the case. Oh, okay. I don't know if I'll be much help, though. God, I might have to veto this. <laughs> 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 I have, I was not a. I've, this is the first time I've ever seen this guy. So I have no idea how he talks. I if he's not around that long, it's fine. But if we ever need to do a cross examination with this guy, I don't think I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just like a dopey, like oh gee. Um, oh gee. Hmm. He's an actor who's been working with John. It may be a bit sudden, but let's hear what he has to say. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a portrait. I had heard that you were handling the investigation for this case, but... Wait, what just happened? I got oh. serious. I'm an actor. <laughs> uh, well, that's... I'm not the prosecutor in charge, though. But if you're the assistant, then does this mean that Kay is in charge? No, this is just a simple miss... Okay. You got a good eye on you. You're completely right. She jumped at the chance. Since I'm in charge here, I'd like you to answer a few questions post-haste, and please, be frank. Did anything happen to catch your eye? 
Ergo, didn't you notice anything? Who is she trying to imitate? Be frank, huh? <laughs> well, I feel sorry for the victim, but... I can't help but worry about what ha will happen with the filming from now on. No, that's only natural. Still, I would think that filming would be difficult now. I knew it. This is bad. We can only use this location for a little while longer, too. Is the filming almost complete, then? No, but construction will begin here soon, so we won't be able to film here anymore. We're only using this vacant lot until construction begins. So the rest of the movie will be filmed at Global Studios. Things aren't looking good. There's even some people spreading bad rumors. Bad rumors? Lately, a journalist has been coming by repeatedly saying, This film lot's hiding a real monster, I reckon. There ain't no use hiding it. And stuff like that. I have a feeling I know who you're talking about. Yes, uh, I was... It was that photographer from before. You're not actually hiding a real monster, are you? Of course not! If there really was one, I'd be out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> it seems they're putting a lot of work into this movie. That's because this is our first attempt at making a sequel to an old classic. Global Studios is pouring their heart and soul into this one. I wish they'd put that much effort into making a new Steel Samurai series. What role are you playing this time, Mr. Powers? I'm playing the mighty Mozilla. Wow! You're the main character! Well, <laughs> much obliged. I'm wearing a full-body costume again, so my face won't be seen this time either. You see, that costume sure is cool, though. I want to try wearing it, too. Oh, I know. How about next time you let me get in the costume? Maybe just, like, the horn part? That's not really possible. You can't get inside the horns. Oh, you tried? Oh, I've tried. I've tried. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense. I'm not in the Screen Actors Guild, after all. I don't yeah. think that's what he means. <laughs> Do you have a SAG after form? I would like to ask you some questions about John. About John? Ah, oh, I heard about it from the girl on staff. How he suddenly vanished from right in front of the guys. <laughs> that's just like him. Does he do that a lot? I'd say so. During filming breaks, if you even took your eyes off him for a moment, he'd be gone. Do you have any ideas to where he might have gone? I don't know, but... I ran into him as he was leaving the film lot. What? Really? Where did John go? In my mouth. I saw him get in the trailer button. When I was checking the equipment, he was gone again. The trailer? Hmm. There might still be some traces of him left behind. Excuse me. Mr. Powers, could you show us the trailer? <laughs> sure thing. It's a bit of a mess right now, though. After all, I just murdered the kid. Let's take him <laughs> up on his offer and examine inside of the trailer. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> That's a trailer? That's a van. It's a van. About John's seat. Ah, oh, it's over there, where the backpack is sitting. Hmm? Something is sticking out of the bag. This is a tape? Huh? It's a tape from filming. Why does John have one? Did he film something? This might be a clue. Is there any way to check its contents? We have a monitor to look over the film that was filmed. Footage that was... Go over there. <laughs> <laughs> now then, let's see what's on the tape. This is... it looks like when John was practicing. John was practicing by himself. The monster's footprints can be seen as well, so this must have been recorded last night. He does that sometimes. When he's not happy with his performance, he'll sneak onto the set to practice by himself. Wow. He really is hardworking. <laughs> he sure is. Although he's young, he's a real pro. He never rests until he's satisfied. And again... I can't say that I approve of him using equipment without asking. John is able to operate the equipment all by himself? More or less, if it's just basic filming. Huh? What's wrong? 
why isn't John on the screen anymore? I think he ran off somewhere just a few seconds before this. What do you mean you think? Were you not looking? Did he go somewhere while the camera was still recording? The tape ends here. It looks like this was about all that was recorded. No one else was on camera except for John. Yeah, whatever... Since he's like 13, whatever happened 12 years ago must have happened like right after his birth. What's your deal, taxi man? Hey buddy, what's wrong? Your face looks so serious. <laughs> have you picked up any passengers here today? Oh, I sure did, but it was only one group. What did they look like? It was a pair of men. They were both wearing black. Did you happen to see a small boy with them? Here's a picture of him. Nope, it was just the two guys. I understand. Thank you for your cooperation. I was hoping he would have some more information for us. <laughs> but I guess not! Oh! The Rail Tracer. The hmm. Rail Tracer. <laughs> Thank you for your hard work, Prosecutor Edgeworth! Uh, uh, I'm not Good a pros Lord. <laughs> prosecutor at the moment. <laughs> but I'll keep quiet about that for now. Uh, thank you. What are you doing here? Sir! I'm on guard duty! Oh and god, hello. <laughs> could you tell me about the cars that have passed through here today? The only ones that came through here were the taxi and the blue truck! So different ve vehicles <laughs> came through this place. That is valuable I, information. I like to think Edgeworth is surprised every time. <laughs> uh, oh, hey. Oh, goodness. Oh, my heavens. Logic. I appreciate clicking on things and getting information from them. It's sad that that's the bar we need to reach. It appears to be the map of the area. Let's look look at it. <laughs> okay. There's nothing of interest here. This is the Grand Tower. It's where we are right now. It is a nice building, but I can't say I am a fan. I can't blame her. It wouldn't be strange if she never wanted to set foot in the tower. Uh. Again. But Mr. Edgeworth, once we discovered the truth and completely solved this case, can we come here again just to side see and we can bring Gummy along with us too? Never letting the past hold you back and always looking forward. That's just like you. Unfortunately, Kay, we aren't quite finished here yet. There's still much left to solve. It's too early to be making plans for the future. Hmm, I guess so. Well then, let's hurry up and solve it. That was some stellar acting you kids did. <laughs> Wanna what? be in a movie? Thank you so much. I am really getting good at reading my lines. Wow. I heard that memories from the sun can cause burn marks on your skin. It's like 2004 in this game. You. <sighs> Listen, she had amnesia less than 24 hours ago. She maybe got there's like, it back. Yeah, but like maybe there's a couple bits that didn't come back so good. Oh my god. I don't know. Ultraviolet rays might be able to cause damage, but this ray's got nothing but hugs. Hey, can I go to bed? All right. <laughs> no, I am pretty tired. My voice is kind of going, so I'm going to I'm going to head out. Yeah, I'm fine okay. to just stop here. I'm I'm sick, <laughs> so I don't want to I know this isn't really a stop.